Hello. It's me. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, there's a game. Okay, good. Uh, happy Saturday, everyone. Thank you, Ioni, for the throw stuff at me, Redeem. Wake me up. <laughs> it's been a while. I just realized I forgot to get my water bottle, so give me just a second. I'll go grab that. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> uh, hello, Kuma. Hello, Lindo. Hello? Okay. It's done. <laughs> Alright. Well. Welcome! We're back to Copy Talk, episode 2. How long have I been playing this game? I don't know. Um, but we're- this is me pushing to finish the game, so no one distract me. No one. I'm being real about this, by the way. Do not distract me. <laughs> this is serious business, okay? You got that? We're gonna finish the game today. Alright? No distractions! I trust you will all be on your best behavior. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I'm doing good. How about you, Linda? I had some shrimp pasta earlier. It was quite good. Fine, you won't distract me. Thank you. I, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> okay, you guys can do your meme. I'm gonna start the game. <laughs> so what day are we on exactly? Um, we are on day 11. So... 11, 12... 13, 14, 15. I'm assuming the game has like extra content after you finish the game. Oh! Thank you. Yeah, that was really good. I am full though, so. <laughs> Hold on, Bailey's. Let me t check my. Oh! <laughs> What'd I say? Did I? I can't believe this. What did I say? <laughs> What did I say? No distractions. <laughs> this is very serious. Alright? This is serious Leah time. Which comment? <laughs> the first mistake was trusting you? Oh. <laughs> I was wondering what you were trying to, uh... Refer to. Alright. <laughs> oh wait, I put my phone away. Hold on. You wanna know where I got all my awesome sunglasses is? Check out my sponsor here. Oh, I can't click it. Been working with them for eons, and I always love their stuff. But y'all know that already. Wink. Hashtag ad. Normal schedule. 
I'm very lucky to have people who's with me no matter what, and I won't take it for granted. We haven't seen Aqua and Myrtle in ages. I feel like we only saw them once this whole time. I miss them. Wherever they are, I miss them. Wait, I missed... Where... Oh. Singer. Groover. Part-time. Alright. Hey ya! Yeah, I remember the name- the voice I gave Bailey's? No, I don't. Dot dot dot. Knock knock! Anyone there? <gasps> ah! Mr. Bailey's, hi! I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. How are you tonight? I'm alright. But you look pretty distracted. A penny for your thoughts? Ah, uh, you can have them for three. For free! I was just pondering the hidden side of things. How different the world is under the surface compared to what we think it is. Oh, wow, we really were distracted, weren't we? Nothing and no one is exactly what they appear to be. Funny, I was having similar thoughts on my way here. I guess now that we spend so much time on social media, people believe we can be summed up in a picture or a sentence. But it's not like that. It's not that easy to know someone. Oh my gosh, it's still up, huh? How are you? Thank you for coming. I hope you're having... let's see. Oh, it's kind of late for you, isn't it? I hope you- I hope you are having a good night so far. Even if that someone is yourself. Wait, was that me who was saying that? Oops! Even if that someone is yourself. That was me stop speaking. Especially if that someone is yourself. <laughs> Sounds like we agree on this. We sure do. And it's been on my mind a lot in the past few days. Does that have to do anything? Oh, I just- I switched it around, so that's why I was, like, confused. Does that have anything to do with your wedding to Miss Lua? <sighs> Got it in one. Doing well. Just a little stuff, but was needed after only up. Uh-oh! <laughs> that's the one where you- that's that platforming game that makes people rage, right? Or like, not rage, but like, mob. Well, same thing, right? <laughs> Just a little stuff. I'm glad you're doing well after that ordeal. How are things on that front? Hmm. A few days ago, we decided to take some time apart to think. Oh, a break! Sounds ominous. <gasps> Could I only be right? No, I don't mean it like that. It wasn't a breakup or even a break. Huh, <sighs> phew. You are weirdly calm the whole stream. Absolutely zen. Didn't make it to the top top first try. Well that's okay. You are in the zone. That's awesome. I love it when you're like Reach that state of like concentration. No molding for enough. Only Zen. We've been through so much. There's no walking back on a relationship now. But sometimes you're so together that you lose sight of the big picture, you know? I think I see what you mean. So, we decided to give each other a bit of space and figure out what we really want out of our wedding. And more importantly, out of our marriage. I see. Have you made any progress on that front? Do you want the short version or the long version? 
I'm always here for the full story. I love the goths. I surprised myself that I wasn't salty. Someone wanted to pay me 500 if I jumped down. But I said he has to pay beforehand. So no, for no 500 bucks for me. Oh, womp. <laughs> That's smart though to say that instead of just doing it and then expecting them to pay up. I'm glad you were not salty. <laughs> I, I, I am so bad at platformers. I would just get mad. Immediately, probably. <laughs> That's why I'm here playing visual novels. Alright then, I'm gonna tell you everything. But, I think I should order first. Sure thing, what can I make you tonight? I think her character is so, like, happy lately. I don't remember them using this many exclamation points. I'm not feeling fussy. Anything warm would do. So, anything really. Uh, make sense. What about some herbal tea then? Hibiscus? Butterfly pea? Hmm. Butterfly pea or hibiscus sounds great. With milk and honey, please. Alright. You've been trained by bad jumping puzzles from a different MMO. Oh. I wonder what MMO you're talking about. Every time they try to introduce platforming into MMOs I've played, I'm just so awful at it. <laughs> okay, so let's see, what have I made so far? Well, let's do the hibiscus, because I don't think I have that recipe yet. Hibiscus with milk and honey. The Sweetheart Latte. Oh yeah, I think I may have made this one before. Oh well. Do I have anything? That's for... Who was that for? I think that was for Georgie. So don't give him that. Here you go, I hope you like it. Thanks, Leah. I see there's a creeper sound, but where is it? A sound alerts joshing of me? It might be joshing of me. Kuma, I see you. I see you, Kuma. Anyway. This is so nice. It brings me way back. You know how I'm not really in touch with my family anymore. Yes, I'm sorry about that. Don't be. I don't even miss them most of the time. In the end, they're just a bunch of random people. And we don't have very much in common. This is how I feel about my family too. Like... I was supposed to go to a family reunion t tomorrow, and I was like, I don't know these people, so why why should I go out in the summer heat and be unhappy? <laughs> why should I go see these people I don't know anything about? It's like, yeah, we're related by blood, but like, you know. It's good that you've learned that about yourself, Mr. Bailey's. I think so, too. <sighs> There's just one person I miss, but I've been missing her a while now. Ah, the one who passed away, I'm guessing. Exactly. Spot on again, Leah. I used to have a very close relationship with my great-great-aunt. When I was little, my parents fought all the time. I still remember in my bones how that made me feel. Oh yeah, I can, I can feel you on that, man. The fear that one of them, or both of them, would walk away and abandon me. A bit ironic in hindsight, but then it was many years ago. Yes, it's quite normal for a little child to care about their parents. 
no matter who they are or how they behave. That's true. Anyway, I spent almost all my evenings curled up into a ball in my room. Trying hard not to listen to all the shouting. Except when my grand came to visit. Not that her being around prevented the fighting, mind you. Elven High Society is amazing at keeping up appearances. Except in front of family. But she got it. She got how it made me feel. So she went out of her way to take the sting out of it. She would keep me company and bring me a cup of herbal tea with milk and honey in it. Drinking this now with you, it feels a lot like family again. Ah! It really is like those simple things. Like, when I was a kid, and I was having trouble sleeping, my mom would, you know, get like that, uh, condensed milk. You know, like the old man brand? The, you know, the Asian people out there, you got me, right? The old man brand? <laughs> anyway, she'd get that condensed milk. And she'd put hot water, like a little bit in a cup, and she'd put some, like, hot boiling water, or maybe hot water, into it. And it just make this really hot, sweet milk. And it was just amazing. That always was like super comforting and I, it helped me go to bed. Sounds like she was a perceptive person. She truly was the best of them. Until she got sick. Oh no! How did that happen? I thought elves don't get sick. Ah, oh, see, that's part of elven disinformation. Elves don't get sick with your little run-of-the-mill colds. But they do get big, bad diseases like everyone else. And it's not uncommon for us to die from them. Except, there's this assumption in elven society that if you live this right sort of life, you'll pass away peacefully in your bed. So, that's what families say most of the time when someone dies. Incidentally, that also means they need to prevent everything is fine. Or, no, sorry, prevent. I was like, what? Pretend everything is fine until the very last moment. So, that's what they did to my aunt. They basically shut her in during her last few weeks. That's. That sounds really awful. I did manage to visit her, and she put on a brave face, but it was clear she wasn't happy. But then, she wasn't very happy before that either. At least she had you. It must have had been little consolation, but yes, I'm glad I was able to be with her. <sighs> To think I came very close to being trapped with those people. I'm pretty sure she would have hated that for me. A little part of me hopes she'd be proud of me right now. I'm certain she would be. Thanks, Leah. Here you are, letting me blab on again. That's more than fine, but... Do you think growing up among conflict might explain why things are... Well... A bit difficult to work out sometimes. Between you and Lua. I definitely think that's part of it. In fact... Who could that be? <laughs> oh my gosh! Hi! Hi 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 Good evening! Hi, Leah. And... Hi. I don't think we've met before. I'm Silver. I'm Baileys. Nice to meet you. And I'm guessing you're Amanda. We are, but you do not appear to be a hive. How did you? Lua told me she ran into you about a week or so ago. Oh, the per- um, the nice earthling we met on our first night here. 
That is a satisfactory explanation. And so, are you her? Dot dot dot. Date? I'm a little more than that. I'm her fiance. No, <gasps> truly? Fiance is a successful outcome of dates with a 0.013p probability. I'm guessing p is pro percent. Congratulations on your excellent Oz actualization. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Cafe Offspring, we are wishing for a drink. C Cafe Offspring? Offspring! Blech. How do you acquire that new title? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Silver! That, 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 that. Ahem! Alright, sounds like something I shouldn't prod too hard. Never mind me. You were about to order, Amanda. We were. And what we wish for is a memorable party experience. Ah, I suspected something like that. Last visit in a while, huh? That is accurate. I take it you've completed your research on Earth. Almost. We are quite satisfied with the outcomes of our missions. Interesting. That sounds like there's a story there. But first tell me, what sort of experience are you after? We wish to have something we have ha never had before. It's time to get creative then. Yes. Take- oh sorry. Yep. Take care not to reuse any ingredient you have served us in the past. Oh no! I don't remember what I've given them before. Ah, I don't remember. An ingredient? I think we've used blue pea before. But that's all I remember. Alright, we're doing it. I'm looking it up. <laughs> well, actually, let me just do like fail once. So I think I I've given her blue pea before. I I think I given Amanda milk before, and maybe ginger. Maybe. <laughs> I really don't remember. It's been so long. Um, I'm pretty sure we gave them. One of these blue blue pea ones. Maybe I don't know. I will never grow if I don't fail. So let's just let's just do something. Um how about hibiscus? And why did I not mix up hibiscus before? Um, ginger honey, milk honey, milk cinnamon, ginger ginger. So maybe something of mint? How about uh, lemon and mint? Nah, that's not a fancy one. Let's try again. Uh, mint and lemon. No, that's the same thing. Did I just do the same thing? I... <laughs> did I just put it in the same order and I just didn't realize I did? No, it just makes the same thing each time. Okay. Um... What could it be? These two that I haven't made before. Lemon cinnamon? I feel like that's not a very good 
combination. Well, let's try it. No. Ginger, honey, milk, honey, milk, cinnamon, ginger, ginger. Ah, uh, cinnamon, cinnamon. Oh no! All right. We've done honey cinnamon before, right? Oh no, we haven't. No! I can't trash it. Alright, this is the fail run. Here you go. Hopefully this tastes new to you. Dot dot dot. The novelty coefficient does not clear the expa expected parameters, but it does not seem very important right now. We wonder why that is the case. Oh, okay. All right, let's try. Let's try this again. Okay, I am cheating. <laughs> the guide says I was on the right path. I was supposed to do I hib hibiscus and two milks. But I think it doesn't super matter what you give Amanda. It just it's supposed to be something they never had before. Here you go. Hopefully it just tastes new to you. It does. It is at least 56.941% different from anything else we have experienced. We are, as Earthlings would express, delighted. According to our calculations, this is our 39,000th Wait, that's not how you say it. 39... No, it is. 39,406 new experience since arriving on Earth. That's quite a lot. Perhaps. However, most of them were rather insignificant in nature. I emoji. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, what about this one? This one is in the 99th percentile of significance. Is that good or bad? She means it's very significant. Right, Amanda? Very much so. We enjoyed this place and we will miss it. That's... Ahem, don't mind me getting a bit emotional here. Anyhow, I trust the agent gave you no more trouble? <sighs> that one was quite close, actually. We had a little brush with the authorities, you see. Yeah, Lua mentioned that. He made her really angry. She was still seething when she came home that night. Huh. Please tell her I'm grateful for that. Well, that agent kept looking into things, even after a second visit here. But that's where your help really came in handy, Leah. What'd you miss? Um... Bailey's was talking about his family and how 
how he wasn't really close to his family. His parents fought a lot. Um, so he was basically, like, unhappy. But the only person that, like, was good to him was his great-great-aunt. I might be missing a great in there. So... And she would always give him herbal tea with milk and honey. So that's what we gave him. And he was happy. And it made him like... It said it felt like family. And then... He also mentioned that... Lua, he and Lua are taking like... Some time apart. Not like quite like a break, but just like... I don't know. <laughs> but he said it's not like a break. He, they just needed like time to like figure out what they wanted from the wedding without being all wrapped up in each other's like ideas of what they want. So they, that's what he's been doing. And then uh, Silver and Amanda came in, and I uh, I gave Amanda a drink that that she's never had before, which is a hibiscus latte. And now that's where we are now. Oh, and Amanda's leaving. This is her last visit. So that's basically it. It's a lot of dialogue. Alright. My help? Yes. That card that you got off the agent. We asked for help from an associate. Oh, no apologies needed. It's good to nice, like, have, like, a little refresher and review what happened. To run it through the mind you call computer. Once the contents of the card had been unveiled, we analyzed the language of its communication, which is quite an interesting mix, if we may say so. It is roughly 60.0923% syntax and 39.9077% mathematics. We then led a polynomial time attack on its encryption, expressing the ciphertext as... Ahem! The point is... Amanda managed to get into the fire system. She obfuscated all mentions of us. Of any of us, or say beyond recognition. And some totally legitimate order orders came in. You send the agent to Europe on an urgent mission, which should last long enough for our, him to forget all about us. Whoop! That sounds incredible. It does sound thrilling. Ah, it was a very simple matter of applying hive knowledge. Be that as it may, that's great work, Amanda. We are pleased. Amanda is amazing. But let's not forget who got the card in the first place. Everyone's looking at me. <laughs> you really helped us there, Leah. Thank you. I'm very glad to hear that. And very relieved. Ooh, we completed Amanda's good story arc. Yes, we have fought on it for a while, and we have decided we do not care for that kind of excitement. Not if it makes our sibling so sad. Ah. You've really gotten the hang of emotions now, haven't you, Amanda? Thank you, Offspring. That is the case. We are, or if that is the case, we are content. That means our mission is well and truly accomplished. Did you come here specifically to pick up Earthling emotions? No, we came here for the purposes of general Earthling research. But it appears to us now that emotions are one of its most interesting aspects. We will be submitting a, you call it a, academic paper. Uncontrolled stimuli and reflexive neural patterns 
deep level communication in hive versus non-hive species. Wow. <laughs> That's how you know it's serious research. I don't even understand the title. Amanda was always the brains in the family. That wasn't your only mission though, Amanda, right? If you're leaving, does that mean... Yes... Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pearl and I did go out on a date. Right! You're looking for love, aren't you? I am. I was. I think. I think I may have found it. Wait, wasn't the first date a really short time ago? Just a couple days. Hot, I've been waiting a while, and I really think this is it. I know, two days ago, and you already think you got the one? Uh-oh. <laughs> when I took up this mission from the Hive, when I came to Earth, and during this entire process, when I changed and changed, what I was hoping was that someone would see me for who I am. And I really think she does. <gasps> That's sweet! That's so great, but I'm curious. Doesn't being in the hive provide that experience of being feeling seen? It does, and it does not. And, in fact, we hope that is something our research might improve the hive sees thoughts and desires honestly, but it is not able to communicate. The reasons for those desires, the emotions, as it were. We do not dwell on those, nor will we start to do so in excess. But it seems to us now that they may be worth conveying, at least to some extent. Yes, what Ananda said is a part of it. I was very unaware of my emotions when I first came to Earth. And I was really bad communicating them clearly to others. In some ways, I still am. That's honestly a skill that you're gonna work on forever, for real. It will always be harder for me to grasp them than other most people. Than for most people, listen words. But when I started to understand them, I was both fascinated and scared. Which is not an uncommon experience, I think. It's really not. It requires a good deal of courage to look at your emotions honestly. It certainly requires some time, and even more time, to find someone who can look at them with you. Not get scared and take them as they are. Someone who can see you clearly and kindly. That that that. It is a precious thing when that happens, huh? A rare and beautiful thing. Has that been your experience of Lua? It definitely has. I almost forgot how much it mattered, too. I'm lucky that I have good friends who remind me of that. So, does that mean you and Lua found some answers? Oh, the heck with it. I can't hold my tongue any longer. I'm... Ah! Thank you for the hydrate, Linda. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry to interrupt your goodbyes, you guys, but... Leah, I'd like to officially invite you to a little surprise ceremony. <gasps> Which will take place three days hence. <gasps> wow, that's some in that's some answers indeed. Yeah, take a little time to think. Really clear our heads. Yeah, I appreciate it. I I'm feeling it. I didn't realize there would be this much reading for the first day. <laughs> 
we had gotten bogged down in the details. And in our own insecurities, to be honest. So, we decided to make it simple again. No fuss, no massive expense, nothing like that. Just us and our closest family members, whether we got them at birth or chose them ourselves. I am very touched, Mr. Baileys. Ah, come on, Leah. You know you mean a lot to the two of us. As does this place. I mean, I basically saved your guys' relationship. <laughs> I'm the reason why you're still together. Speaking of which, I also have Hyde's inv invitation here. Ah, cute! Okay, I have to remember this. Uh, I have a card for Georgie, and I have a card for Hyde. I'm basically a hero for you guys. Exactly. You should be grateful. I should be the best maid. <laughs> Anyway, well, higher than Gala's invitation, seeing how that's his obvious pl plus one. Would you give it to them when you see them? It would be an honor. Silver and Amanda, I don't have a card for you, but you are in the cafe family as well, so I'm sure Lua won't mind. Would you like to join us for the party? Ah, <sighs> party? This is our first experience being invited to a party. It is 99.999% pleasant. And 0.001% disappointing that we have to refuse. So it's just a little disappointing that to say no. Mm, yes, I truly appreciate the offer, Baileys. But sadly, we are leaving Seattle tomorrow. Really? That's more sudden than I expected. Are you going back to space then, Amanda? Not yet. We are going on an adventure. That sounds very exciting. It really is. Amanda and I are taking a trip through the country. And maybe even a little bit further, if we've got time. We're basically going to be tourists. I mean, aren't you guys already tourists? <laughs> I mean, Silver... Actually, Silver is kind of like a tourist because I, I believe he moved out of Seattle. He only just came back recently. Tourist is such a fascinating concept. Although our sibling explained it to us multiple times, we still find it very hard to comprehend. We always thought that traveling must have a mission, a purpose. But it seems that tourism is traveling with no other purpose than traveling, which is, in essence, circular reasoning. <laughs> well, it may well be, but still a lot of fun. In fact, I'd say that's the real purpose of tourism. To have fun, to relax, and to see beautiful things. To enjoy life, you know? Enjoyment as a purpose. That is new to us, but we are 99.999% excited to try it out. So am I. I have never been out of Seattle. Oh, I misunderstood! I- I'm pretty sure the epilogue in the first game said that Silver left the city. But I, I might be misunder- misremembering. Mis Okay, whatever. I was wrong! I've been- I've never been out of Seattle since I arrived. I guess I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to blend in. That I would have to restart everything from scratch. But knowing that you're here, Leah, that I always have a place to return to where I'll feel home, well, that makes me feel a lot less nervous. That's... I'm very happy to hear that. Everyone's looking at me again! Ahem. I think I should order a drink. Of course! What can I make you? I'd like it to reflect the spirit of our upcoming adventure. 
But I'm also in the mood for something so sweet and soothing. So sweet and soothing, but with an adventurous kick. Yes, that's exactly it. Then how about some hot chocolate or something extra to make it fun? Ah, oh, I love that. Hot chocolate with some sweetness and some spice would be amazing. Alright, I think... I think this is going to be honey and ginger. Ooh, we got it! We got it, fellas! We got it! <laughs> Alright, hold on one second. I, I wanna open the window. It's a bit warm. Someone was doing like yard work earlier, so I closed the window. I'm pretty sure we got it. Here's a 299.792.458 for a light speed traveler. Oh, we like this name. It is evocative and adventurous. Evocative? Yes. Is the speed of light not evocative of great adventures? The speed of light? Yeah, I kind of guessed it would be. The speed of light? Oh, wow. Way to target your audience, Leah. <laughs> Thank you. But, do you like the taste silver? I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. It's got that spicy kick of ginger to start with, which keeps you on your toes, but then the honey makes it sweet and comfortable. In fact, it reminds me of you, Amanda. That, how does a taste remind you of us? I guess he's saying that you're sweet, but with a strong character as well. That's about right. Dot dot dot. We do not entirely comprehend it, and yet, we are pleased. Well, that's settled then. Whenever you miss Amanda Silver, you can come here and I'll make you this drink. I like that. Thank you, Leah. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why did it shake? <laughs> Wow, careful there. You don't want to spill a drink you enjoy this much. Ah, you're right. I'm just so excited. I can barely sit still. I can imagine. A first trip across this country is a big deal. It is, but that's not the only reason I'm excited. I think it's very interesting, because... Like, Silver's like, yeah, I think I found the one. I think I found the person that's gonna be my mate. And now I'm going to go on a cross-country trip with my family member. <laughs> okay, that was quite the dramatic pause. I really want to know what you're going to say now. Oh, I missed it. Oh. You guys seem to lead very interesting lives. Oh, no, not at all. I think I'm quite a boring person. Oh, Silver, stop it! With a secret society and an alien background. It's true that some of my life circumstances are a bit unusual. But this particular thing is very commonplace. I am... <gasps> oh! oh! Our sibling is excited because his date will be joining us. Okay, okay, I get it now. And in fact, we must be fair and acknowledge. 
that we may have misjudged her based on her lack of facial symmetry. Although Pearl's features are 9.231% different from left to right, we agree with her movie analysis 99.999%. Wow, hold on. Amanda, you have met Pearl and you talked about movie? And now she's joining you two on a holiday? How did any of that happen? Yeah, literally. We watched orc westerns all together last night. Pearl likes them a lot as well. You don't exactly sound thrilled. I... Well, fortunately, she also likes space travel operas. <laughs> I see. Learning couple compromises the hard way. I suppose so. Well, I'm glad to hear that she's met Amanda and they got along. Does that mean she also knows where you're from, Silver? She does. In fact... I told her about that on our first date. Oh boy! <laughs> I can only imagine what that was like. Wow, that's um, very brave. It's very hard to put yourself out there under any circumstances. To reveal something so vulnerable to someone you've just met. And they're starting to like. Takes guts. Huh, I think you're very kind, but I don't think so. To be honest, I hadn't planned it that way. Although, I have always felt safe here with all the regulars. I know that not everyone would be open-minded about me. And so, I wasn't sure I'd say anything to Pearl that night. But as we were talking, I was so happy to learn more about her, about who she is. And I realized that I didn't want her to have an incomplete picture of me. My past is a part of me. If my goal is to find someone who sees me for, I am, for who I am, then she needs to know about that too. And, in the end, that was the right decision. Alright, that makes sense, because he did say earlier that Pearl was someone who could see and accept him for who he, who, for who he is. Well, I will say that if she'd heard your story, and that changed how she viewed you, then she wouldn't have been worth your time anyway. That's fair. But still, even knowing that, I admire you a lot. The truth is, and this is a bit of a strange thing to say, but I think I am proud of who I've become. And I want the people I love to be proud of me too. What is proud? Proud is... hmm... For yourself? I think it's when you start to be satisfied with what you're achieving. Especially if you have to fight to get there. And, for others, it's when you think of someone you care about. Consider who they are and the way they're acting. And it's just... fills you with joy. Aww, I am proud of Silver, too! Ah, we see. Then, we are definitely proud of you. <laughs> I... Sip. <laughs> you two are a really sweet family. And so are you and Miss Lua, Mr. Bailey's. <laughs> True. Chosen families can also rock. Yes, when we met Pearl, we came to a conclusion. There is no difference in nature or expression between a family that you are born with and a family that you acquire by choice. Both demand work and understanding. There may be minute differences in the specific process, but the bond appears to be 99.999% similar in the end. 
so it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should probably get going. Ah, sorry, I'm stretching. Yes, we must go pack. <laughs> First time I see someone get excited about that part. Honestly, Amanda probably doesn't even have that much to pack. What Amanda really means is that I must pack. While she analyzes the earthling ritual of folding shirts, rolling up socks, and so on. Precisely. This is further information for our research. We are thrilled. <laughs> Good luck, Silver. Indeed. Do enjoy your trip, both of you. I hope you'll tell us all about it when you're back, Silver. I will. Good night to you two, Ben. Aww. Hasta la vista, Rangers. Huh? Orc Westerns. Ah! Bye to you too! Alright, Bailey, just one second. I'm checking my phone. I'm super best friends with Bailey's. Favorite things punk. Been listening to Pumpkin Spice since I was a wee lad. What I'm doing with my life Ex escaping bloodlines, experiencing life one color at a time. One day, I will have my own solo exhibition. On oh, the drinks. Why not? Oops, I accidentally clicked the screen. Fast to make, fast to drink, and the best start to light year guided adventures. Garnish of bits of rose petals. This latte is refreshing in both taste and appearance. Anyways, he said, There's never a dull moment in your cafe, Leah. I try. Speaking of which, would you like to hold some party or after party for your wedding here? I know it's not a very large space, but perhaps. Whether we'd like it. We'd love it! Honestly, I didn't want to impose. But there's no place that could be a better fit. And I don't mind that it's not very large. It's going to be a small, cozy wedding. So, this is perfect. It's settled then. Ah, Lua's gonna be over the moon when I tell her. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to go and tell her now. That's a very exciting prospect. It really is. Thanks again, Leah. You're like... A guardian angel for us. And not on that note, I'm off. Good night. That was a long day. More like a guardian hive mind. Good night, Mr. Bailey's. Wait, we have a hive mind too? Bed chamber, a cup for those longing for a deep slumber. Is that why we always say we? Because we are also a high five? I know! I know I want it! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I know! I know my dad! I know who my dad is! And I guess I know who my mom is, I guess. I don't know. But like... I, I guess I did. Like, it just feels like maybe that part of... Him didn't pass down because, like, he kind of basically abandoned the hive mind. So I guess that's why we always say we. Gulp. Okay, Saturday, September 30th, 2023. Well, that's just me guessing. The Evening Whispers. ZXX20 virus vaccine booster ready for distribution. A uh, Neko Mimi driver crashes truck filled with catnip. <gasps> Not the catnip! Suspected DUI. UFO previously spotted by Space Guard fighters. A very determined hot air balloon. Oh. 
So it wasn't a UFO. Oh my gosh, finally! We haven't seen you in forever! Hello, Miss Aqua. Hi, Mia. Wait, that's a bit too excited. Hi, Mia. How are you? Good, as usual. How about you? Um, honestly, lots of things have happened. C can I order something first, though? Of course, what would you like? Um, can you make me a cup of chai? Have I ever made chai? Nope. Let me just check this out. I told my wife that she needs to embrace her mistakes. She gave me a hug, comma, comma, comma. Oh, Georgie! <laughs> Oh, Georgie! <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I'm taking an easy day because self-care is important. Don't forget to take a good rest once in a while, too, everyone! I'm kind of sad we didn't really get to see Rachel, but Rachel doesn't really need to have an arc. She is thriving! Lucas saying goodnight? Okay. Alright, let me figure out how to make chai. Yeah, she already had her arc. She doesn't need another one. Um, so it's tea. I'm gonna guess ginger and cinnamon. Wait, that's green tea! <gasps> I chose the wrong one! No, 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 no. That's not what I want. This tea. Ginger and cinnamon. Never had chai. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Hey! Masala chai. I believe this is the one she's looking for. A cup of masala chai for the lady of eclectic tastes. <laughs> Thank you. It's delicious. You're welcome. So, you were saying? Oh, right. It's just, I've been busy working on my game. Ah, I see. How's it going? It's pretty difficult, but I'll manage. Oh, she's so cute! Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. <gasps> I'm glad to hear that. How's that contract you talked about the other day going? Oh, that. I rejected it, of course. There's no saving it, really, which is a shame. I truly like their games, but with all the shady requirements they had, I could tell they looked down on us small developers. And the scary thing is, if, if I hadn't known what I know now, just because they were a publisher I loved a lot, I... I would have overlooked all that. That's understandable, though. You trusted them not to take advantage of you. Well... Oh, my bad. Well, it has to be fair for both of us, right? Because at the end of the day, it's business. But... I don't know. Yeah. A actually... I tried negotiating with them because I wondered if they still had any good faith left. Don't tell Myrtle, okay? Haha, <laughs> okay. But as I expected, it didn't really go anywhere. Instead, they insisted they're doing me a favor since I'm just a small developer. And I wasn't thinking rationally or in business terms. Oof! Yeah, big ooh. Doesn't sound like good faith to me. Right? Considering the unfair 
conditions they're expecting me to accept. I could... <laughs> yes, exactly. Ooh! They could have at least been polite about it. I doubt they care, though. Yeah. That aside, Myrtle is coming here soon. Great! So you two made up already? <laughs> yes. We apologize to each other. Nice! We love to see it! Uh, I know, it was probably being a little confusing. I didn't explain the context I applied to the situation very well. But she made it clear that she understood why I was anxious, and she apologized for assuming. That really helped. Yes, this is it! Communication! Yes! We love to see it! We love to see it! We love to see it! Alright. Now, she's helping me speed up development. I'm happy to hear that. I'm thrilled! I'm so thrilled! I'm super happy to hear that. <laughs> hey. Hi, Myrtle. We were just talking about you. Okay. <laughs> Nothing too terrible, I hope. Don't worry. Only all the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Leah. I won't be ordering today. Why? We don't have time. We're going to the expo sale, right? Oh, you're right. Expo sale? We're hunting new parts for my PC. It's been a bit... slow lately. <laughs> a bit? She's joking. It's pretty much in its death throes. If we're going, we're building you a whole new setup. <laughs> yes, yes, Ioni, you heard that, right? But... If you just want parts, I can always give you mine. But at this point, I'm not sure it'll be any help at all, to be honest with you. Y yeah No, you're right. Time to move forward with the productivity. Ah, she's so cute! I've been putting off upgrading things for a while now. So, it really is time for a better setup. That's the spirit. Go big or go home. <laughs> Sorry, Leah. Seems like we have to go now. Thanks for the drink. I'll see you later. Yeah, take care. Safe trip and good luck. Slurp. Yay! Favorite things, full model conflict, video games, and general grandma. What I'm doing with my life. Move to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find a place and person where I belong while doing something I love. Look how cute she is! Yes, spice tea from Southern Asia. I actually don't really like chai very much. It's a bit too strong for me. Let's see. I guess I'll go over today's checklist. Hmm. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect to see the dad! Well, hello, gentlemen. Hey, Leah. Leah! <laughs> nice seeing you here, Henry! Yeah, exactly! How goes it? Good, good, good! I see you're going doing good too. Oh, how do I do an old man voice? <laughs> As usual. What? Uh, what do you want to drink, Henry? It's on me. No, 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 that won't do. <laughs> well, let's talk about bills later. 
so. What will it be? You first. Oh my gosh, they're like so close to each other. Gala's just too big. <laughs> Gala is like in Henry's space. <laughs> you sure? Okie dokie. I'm giving him such a doofy voice, it's fine. I'll have one STMJ, please. Oh, what was STMJ again? It's been a while. I believe it's T. I haven't made it. Um, I believe it's tea with milk and something else. Milk and... Ah, STMJ. Ah, I don't remember. I remember that's what they used to always order. And, okay. It's supposed to be tea, honey, and ginger. Oh, he said. Tea, honey, and ginger. And then the other part is egg. Oh, it's milk? Oh, no tea. I need ginger tea. That's okay. And then the last ingredient is egg. Which we don't have. There you go. One STMJ coming up. Ah, oh, it smells so nice. <laughs> Spot on. Thanks, Leah. You're very welcome. How about you, sir? Oh, it's my turn. Something of ginger, please. Anything else of that? Well, what would you recommend? Anything from your new tea line is fine. Ooh, I see you have a new selection. Yes, we have blue pea and hibiscus tea available. Hibiscus, huh? You should try Te Jahe Rosella. It's pretty good for this kind of weather. Sounds familiar. Up too high. It's ginger steeped with roselle buds. Another name for hibiscus. Anything else in it? Well, it's a bit sweet. Interesting. I'll try it then. Yeah. Ah! I'll try it then. Ate jahe rosella. It needs a little bit of sweetness. So, ginger and probably honey? There we go. Oh, I forgot to give the invite. <laughs> I like how the frick the 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 I remember their invite when I saw them come in and then I got so wrapped up trying to make a drink I forgot to give it. Uh, I'm so sorry. The only reason I remember is because there was an achievement that popped up that said don't give it to hide. I'm so sorry. That was a different timeline. Alright? We're not talking about that timeline. Hmm? What's this? Oh, it's Bailey's and Lewis' wedding invitation. Really? For hide. Oh. Looking... Uh, uh, okay, good luck looking for your copy. Oh. The date is really soon. Could you pass it along to him since I'm not sure when he'll be here? Hmm. Okay, sure. Thank you. A piping cup of Te Jahe Rosella for you. Thanks. 
What do you think, Henry? You look any good. Uh-oh. It looks about right. It smells good, too. Try it. Yep, it's good. Glad I am. I passed your impromptu test. So, what's going on? Did I miss anything? <laughs> um... Something happened, didn't it? You can say that. I think the officer's coming too, by the way. Alright. As for me, I'm just glad my fury is over. Are you okay, though? I'm fine, as you can see. How are you managing, Hendry? Did you get your checkup? I did, I did. Rachel pestered me to get it done all week, so I had to do it. Good. There's no doubt I need to slow down. I can feel it in my bones! <laughs> Time is a harsh mistress, as they say. Ain't that the truth? But I don't think I- You get to complain, though. Why not? You know my body is what it used to be anymore. Oh? I mean, compared to my prime. 50 years ago. That 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 that. I'm kidding. Truth is, my body doesn't hold up well when I'm transforming anywhere. Oh, is that so? Yep. Soreness doesn't go away as quick as it used to. It's harder to get up in the morning after all that. Like today. <laughs> I know the feeling all too well. Look at these old men just talking in my cafe. Especially in this kind of weather. Oh? Like my body knows if a storm's, storm's gonna get worse. Uh-oh! That's me. No weather forecast can match the accuracy <laughs> Oh no! It's just like me for real! Oh no! This is too relatable. <laughs> Well, lucky for you, ginger is great for sore muscles. Yeah. Georgie! I got something for you too, Georgie. Hey, folks. Oh my gosh! This is the three guys with like the lowest voices in the cast. I'm not gonna survive this. I'm just gonna give one of them a higher voice. I can give Georgie a slightly higher voice. It's fine. Hey, folks. The man of the hour. Hiya, Georgie. Leah, what I'd miss? Some very important weather talk. Is that so? Sounds like I missed a ton, then. How are you? <laughs> How am I? You're talking about my case. Well, I don't even know where to begin. Henry, you know nothing about what I'm talking or what I'm about to say, right? N no, what are we talking about? Leah, you should have primed him before I got here. Why didn't you know you were gonna be here? My bad. My defense, I didn't know you were coming until Mr. Gallo mentioned it. Excuses, excuses! I'll, ex I'll help explain it to Henry. In short, there's been a string of car vandalisms nearby. Oh, thank goodness. I'll have to read it. So, he's trying to figure out if the case, if the tree being gone has anything to do with the case. And that's where we are now. Yep, that's about it. That's a lot of thinking. Anything new happened since? Me. Ah. Okay. Well, tried something. I set a few candles where the tree was. I used my lighter. And things happened. Okay. Uh, mind backing up a bit. Feels like there's a lot of context missing here. Well, morning ya. Everything I am about to tell you is real. 
It'll sound a little crazy, but no, I haven't lost it yet. Got it? Loud and clear. I told Leah about my lighter a while ago. How it might be connected to the fairy market we talked about before. Really? In what way? The lighter was my grandpa's, and there was a chance he bought it from there. Ah, interesting. Yeah, what a coincidence, eh? <laughs> oh! Anyways, my daughter likes this sort of mystery stuff, right? After talking to her about what's been going on, she believed my lighter was the key to making sense of all this. And gave me some pointers. So, I bet she learned this all on TikTok, huh? <laughs> How to communicate with the spirits on TikTok. I went back there last night. The spot, you know. Where the tree used to be. I lit a few candles there, with the lighter right in the middle of it all. How to play the Ouija, Ouija? on TikTok. How to do a seance? Seance? You actually find out I can't pronounce anything. On TikTok. <laughs> I'll be honest, it was spooky as heck. The air was still, and I felt tension in my head. I wasn't sure if it was just me being creeped out or if there was something else going on. Whatever it was, I thought I should just... I should leave it alone. So... I followed my gut and got the heck out of there. Did you leave the lighter there? It then what happened? <laughs> it blew up. What? What do you mean, what? The lighter! It just blew up! <laughs> well, what do you mean, blew up? Yeah, I, I think we definitely need more context here. Well, I did see it because I was walking towards my car, you see. Oh, I bet you were bolting it for your life, sir. <laughs> That's what I would be doing. I would be running like there's something chasing me. But I heard it. Pitha. With a little whoosh. And a, followed by a couple of clink clinks. I'm listening. Pitha. What kind of sound is that? You know, like something small and metallic blew up. Oh, yeah, we do have- we have that too. I like to say, like, and then sometimes when I'm alone in the bathroom, uh, in a stall, sometimes the faucet just turns on by itself. And I say, oh, it's just a ghost washing your hands. Literally, no one else in the room, but the faucet just turns on randomly. I get what you mean. <laughs> Wouldn't bang work better? No, that's a shot. Yeah, you work night, so it's even scarier. Yeah, exactly. I can imagine. Maybe that's how the people at night during night shift feel. Wouldn't want to confuse y'all with that. But Pitha is... What is that? You know, Pitha? I don't know, actually. Uh, and then what happened? Right, okay. Then, I immediately looked back to see I had fallen over with its lid open. The, the flame! It was burning white! Hendry's having a great time. Wow. Ain't gonna lie to y'all. I freaked the frick out. But before I could do anything, two small figures emerged from the corner walking toward the lighter. Did they see you? Yeah, they did. They inspected my lighter while I was just standing there. Then they asked me straight up. Is this lighter yours, guy? I said, yeah. Then I fired a question back. 
are you the ones who have been miss missing up the cars around here lately? And they said yes. Well, sounds like case closed. So, they weren't ghosts. Hell no. Thank God for that. Then who are they? Let's just say... They were close friends of the deceased. They're part of the fairy folk, but I didn't expect them at all. Didn't expect? Do you know them? Kinda. In fact, they know they own the gnome noms near my place. Oh wow! Did they know it was your card then? Nope, because I only order takeout. And I usually walk there. What was the reason for all the vandalism then? I just- I'm dropping the, the deep voices now. <laughs> it all started because of a broken promise. And we have to start way back for that. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. Let me drink some water. This is a long one. Remember why the tree was there in the first place, right? Yeah. The tragic hit and run. Half the time, the court ruling practically let the driver off the hook outside the DUI charge. Well, it sparked a huge protest. Good! In response to it, the mayor at the time gave his word to the victim's family. He promised to keep the tree as a landmark for the, communi for the community. And the vow was kept well after his tenure was over. But he died a few years ago. And we all know recently what happened to the tree. <gasps> I see. So it was their attempt to keep the memory alive. Not just for their friend, but as remembrance of the injustice as well. And after all the urban renewals the city's gone through, it makes sense that the community that used to be there is gone by now. That's right. There used to be a lot of veteran housing and low-rise apartments in the area. Now it's filled with never-ending projects. That that that. That that that. You okay? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. There's something about it that bothers me a bit. Like what? Their unique disposition after they pass. It bothers me that their own memories are insufficient to ensure their existence. And by failing to remember, we, the outside party, will also gradually lose track of their existence. You're kind of losing me here, but I'm a little tired. It just doesn't feel right to me. I get what you mean. An odd erasure, erasure of existence. But apparently, that's why they keep animals. The Gnome Nam's owners told me they have a large mastiff living in their place. Others even take care of multiple animals at once. Interesting. I suppose that's why some folk prefer living near the wilderness. But animals don't live long either. Right. But the erasure starts happening if they're completely forgotten, right? Something like that, I guess. I'm not sure. Right, okay. But doesn't that normally happen anyway? How do we res pay respects or remember something? Or sorry, someone who died a long time ago. Like our ancestors, for example. It's our call, isn't it? I mean, that's basically, right? That's how I'm, tr I'm like trying to wrap my head around. Because I know like the fairies, like... They don't exist. When the people don't remember them? I can't remember. My brain too small. Hmm. Every 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 April, Rachel and I would visit my wife's grave. We used to visit her grandparents' graves too, when my wife was still alive. If our extended family was visiting, they join us. We clean their gravestones, bring food, and have a feast while catching up. 
It sounds like Mimi's honored the dead, and I'm sure other cultures have their other ways, their own ways to too. Right. I truly think continuing tradition is something we do for ourselves, though. To remember the deceased and all the reasons they mattered to us. So, except for the weird erased memory part, it sounds on par for me. It's the effort of the living to remember the dead anyway. You're right. Unless you believe in life after death, memories are for us, not for the dead. Exactly. It would be great if we could all remember and help each other, because keeping track of any sort of history is a team effort. Since the best way to gain wisdom is to learn from the past, whether it's bad or good. Yeah. Speaking of the Gnome Nam's owners, though... What happened to them after all that? Oh, right. Did you arrest them? Nope. Oh! <gasps> Are you going to let them go? Not necessarily. But I got an idea what I have to do. Right now, I'm just happy there's no ghosts involved. Truly. It's still, it was truly something else. Yeah, what a night it must have been. It is what it is. What's up, big guy? Something on your mind? No, nothing. A shame about that lighter of yours, though. Oh yeah, it's probably busted, huh? That's the thing. It works just fine. Not even a scratch. Really? What? That thing blew up, didn't it? Like, pithaw? Heck, we even debated the sound effects and everything. As I said, it still works fine. So I don't know what else to tell you. I see. You want to know what I think? No. <laughs> That's so rude! No, I don't want to know. Don't give me your thoughts. I'm not interested. It's haunted. No, it's not. The thing is definitely haunted. What are you talking about? The white flame is a bit unnatural, I agree. And I remember how you kept forgetting your lighter here. Hey now. A man is allowed to forget stuff as he gets older, no? As for the blowing up, that was probably a well-timed, bad chemical reaction or something. This thing is real old, after all. If that's the case, you might want to stop carrying it around. At any rate, I believe you now, officer. There's no such thing as coincidence, indeed. Oh. You made them nervous. I still think it's a ghost, though. Shut it, Hendry! <laughs> I don't want to hear it! <laughs> Shush! In any case, mystery solved. For now, at least. Hmm. Oh my gosh, you even got the old man squint. Oh! Oh no, I think I have to go now. I didn't realize I missed multiple messages earlier because I was so engrossed in your story. Sorry to rush off. I'll see you all again next time. Sure, next safe trip. Nice seeing you again, Hendry. Take care. Let me go over there. Gosh, Gala's so huge. You know, all that talking made me more thirsty. You want anything? I'm good. Then one espresso for me, please. Alright, and we have to give him the card from Riona. I won't forget. What is it? It's Miss Riona's number. She asked me to give it to you. She said she can help you find someone if you need it.
Do you hear any audio hiccups, or is it just my headphones that's having hiccups? Or if you need any information from her. I see. You haven't heard anything? Okay, it's just my headphones then. Well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. Thank you. Here's your espresso, officer. Thanks. Great as always. So, what's next, officer? What's your plan after this? Other than talking to him. I guess I'll focus on the rumors. Word is going around that cars are being messed up there. That's kind of expected though, isn't it? There's no point in adding to citizens' worries when a case is pretty much over. And I don't want bad press to paint over the area's history. You're right. There's nothing like rumors. Without being stopped, they'll just spiral out of control. I have a question for you though. What, which do you prefer? Wild rumors or bad press? Oh, welcome back, Nuff. Had you in work since you're trying... Uh, again. Oh! <laughs> nah, I just told you fine. <laughs> well, I appreciate you lurking. <laughs> I hope that your more only up attempts have gone well. Hmm. That's a tough one. There's no limit to what wild rumors can become or how far they'll go. But the press can shape a story, report it, and many will believe it as truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay! Both are worrying in their own ways. Fair point. Why don't we combine them? Hmm? Rumor, truth, and press. If we somehow combine them, I, then I think I have a plan. Crazy one, but a plan nonetheless. Maybe y'all can add also add on to it. Oh? Sure. It'll take a while to explain though. Oh no, more talking! They don't stop talking! <laughs> the visual novel doesn't stop talking! Alright, another another dr drink for me. Just hear me drinking water, it's fine. Alright. Well, I'll be out here all night. I got time. Alright then. Brace yourselves, folks. It's gonna be a doozy. Oh! Whoa, it just ended the day like that! Bean Buzzy. An energizing companion during those late night working hours. Look how cute it is! I like that a lot. Vegan food on the rise. Gnome diet popular among amongst young adults. So gnomes are just vegan and then everyone thinks the tip? Box office movie High Weapon hits astonishing $2 billion world worldwide. What Generation Z really wants, an independent survey. Oh. I thought... <laughs> I was reading it. I was like, Generation Z wants an independent survey? No, 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 no. I was misreading it. All right, let's look at this. Georgie! He likes funny cop movies and non-dairy cakes. He dislikes ghosts. Trying to be a good father to three great kids in this ever-changing world and stay a keeper for his lovely misses. He likes anything warm and made of ginger. He likes Metal Maiden, Full Metal Jarhead. He's trying to heal himself by helping other people heal. Super busy, see you tomorrow! 
just say in oh oh my gosh just saying hi i was like what is this language i i was like i was like just say Ing Ingi 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 That's what I was trying like my my brain was trying to parse what is this word? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh It really was loading Oh my gosh look how cute this is Ethernet noises. Look what Myrtleish did. Sneakily taking my super serious gaming face while playing Super Brawl Pals 2. Sad face. Oh, so cute! They're definitely girlfriends, just saying. Uh huh! And a little coffee cup for the Switch. We had a break in the office and just played board games for hours. It was fun. Today's delivery cutoff time, 1300, no night shift. Alright, cool. That means we might see Riona today. Uh, looks like the last two people I need to talk to are... Lucas, Riona, and Hyde. We haven't seen Rachel at all. I don't even know if we'll be able to even like, build our, our happy faces with her. That's that, that. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's her! It's her! Oh my gosh, we're just... I was just, I was just talking about you. <laughs> I was just talking about you. Okay. Leah, Leah! M Miss Rachel? Oops! Hehe, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just really excited. I've done it, Leah! Congratulations! Done what? The music I'm making of AJ! I told you about it last time, remember? <laughs> Girl, I haven't seen you in like over a week. How am I supposed to remember? Actually, it's been like months, realistically. <laughs> it's been realistically since I've seen you uh, in months. Oh yeah, you did. I bought it with me. Check it out, will you? Really? Uh, okay. Um... Are you sure we can play it? What about NDAs and stuff? Come on, you silly! We're the only ones here anyway! You gotta break your NDA for me? That'll be fine. I mean, the direction has already changed a lot, so... Oh? Never mind that. Let's just play it quick. So, this track is totally inspired by the drink you gave me the other day. That's okay, right? Of course, you composed the melodies? Well, but Aramy, yeah. So, like, when I heard the name Dream in Blue, I thought to myself, could it also be read? Or sorry. <laughs> Could it also be red as dream in blue? Ooh, good point. I mean, you could. It reminded me of the melancholy you feel in the late hours of the night. It's when you're thinking about someone or something, but all the what ifs and unspoken feelings. It's a longing for all the dreams that have yet to come true. So, dream in blue. What do you think? You know, I think I can see it. I like your take on the name too. Are the time your pants fell down while you were doing an oral presentation? What are you talking about, Ioni? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, I get you were talking about the dream in blue. What? <laughs> Is this something that happened to you? Hehe. <laughs> There's just one thing I'm wondering though. What is it? 
Oh yeah, definitely didn't happen. Just an example. If this is going to be your new single, wouldn't everyone be expecting to hear your voice? I know, but I already have a plan for that. You'll see. Nice. How are you, by the way, Leah? Just fine. Business as usual. Wait, I almost forgot. Did Dad come here last night? Henry? Yes, he did. He was meeting up with Mr. Gala, actually. Okay, that's good to know. Why do you ask? He didn't reply to my text last night. So, I wondered what he was doing. Ah, I see. Yes! It's fine, Ioni, it's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's fine, don't think about it, alright? Do you two not see each other often? What do you mean? I just saw him this morning. We still lived under the same roof after all. Oh, what a surprise. I thought you'd have been rearing to move out by the time you turned 21. Well... You're not wrong in thinking that. But Dad's getting older, you know? He's becoming forgetful too, so I'm a little worried. I mean, look at him, he's ancient! <laughs> no, no offense to Henry. I'm just saying you're kinda old. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. Understandable. Besides, we don't really have anyone else, you know? None of our extended family even lives in the States. So, as much as he's been a nag my whole life, I feel like I should watch over him for now. Right. Hello, welcome! Good evening to you, Miss Riona. Hey, Riona! Fancy meeting you here! Uh, ah, ah. Oh, she seems a bit perturbed. That, that, that. Hello. How are you? Um, sorry. Just a second. Alright. Huh. Is she alright? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh well. I'll just get a drink first. Right, what would you like? I'll have a cup of milk, please. I can do that. Girl, who can brew milk better than me? <laughs> who can do it better than me? No one! Here you go. A cup of warm milk. Thank you! Hmm... What's up? Oh, nothing. Just remembered something. But it's nothing special, so don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> no one can put water in the microwave better than me. That, that, that. Oh my gosh, I'm super best friends with her now. Hi there, I am Rachel Florencia. You might have seen me on your screen singing, dancing, or modeling. Working on a new album especially for you right now. I love my family, cats, milk, and you. I've been singing, dancing, singing, and trying to achieve my dreams since I'm, I was 13, and I'm not stopping now. Okay, let's see. Miss, are you alright? No. Uh-oh! Give it to me straight! What happened? I think... <gasps> oh no! Look at her! She got... She got tears! I'm sad. I think... I'm sad? What's that? Why did I go so fast? Oh no! W what's wrong? That's right, Riona. What's wrong? <gasps> I I've been doing a lot of thinking. 
about what? About my situation. Have you ever felt like something you've been doing your whole life might be a mistake? Uh oh. What makes you think that, miss? Oh, seeing her sniffle makes me sad. My apologies. I I did not mean to be so dramatic. Would you two mind listening to my scattered thoughts? Of course! Let's let it all out! Miss Rachel is right, feel free! After listening to the experiences you and Mr. Lucas had, along with my conversations with Bia, the regulars of this coffee shop. Yeah, go ahead, give us the entire soap opera! I have gradually realized over the past week that that I'm severely lacking in awareness about many things. Huh? And what makes it more troubling is it is likely that my ignorance was on purpose? Ignorance? On purpose? What do you mean? Tissues! <laughs> Get her some tissues, she needs it! Miss Rachel, that position you hold today is a result of your efforts and tenacity. You honed your talent, but you did not shirk from taking risks in order to succeed. Your knowledge of the industry has enabled you to successfully navigate it. You know, I'm not. I <laughs> For someone who's like super like sad, I'm just like I would never be this eloquent if I was like heartbroken. You know what I mean? Like if I was like really sad, blowing my my brains out, I would <laughs> I would not be able to be speak even half as well as this. And I greatly respect your ability to do so, Mr. Lucas. Also. Although I do not fully understand his content, he is successful enough that people earn a living through his work. I am aware that must require a great deal of courage and flexibility. To put it simply, I feel ashamed of myself because I may have become too comfortable with the status quo to the point that I no longer strive to improve my situation. Are you really, though? I mean, you've been trying your best, right? I've been trying, yes. But have I been trying my best? That's debatable. And about my intentional ignorance, I'm simply afraid. Afraid. I understand I have only a small chance of being selected for a role in the play. I really do. I understand it's due to my lack of network and the industry's expectations, along with my lack of higher education, and for the simple fact of what I am. I'm truly fine with all that, I really am, because, because of all that, or of all, because all of it is a pain I am already familiar with. And, Perhaps somewhere in the deepest depths of my heart, I'm having to face unfamiliar rejections again. Having to get used to new pain all over again. Just might be... <sighs> Sorry. for all this ruckus. I, I didn't mean to. Miss Riona! Would you please allow me to make you a drink? It's on the house. Um, but... Leah insists, right? Right. What was the pie you ate the other day? Um, 
the blueberry hibiscus mint pie? Did you like it? I did. Quite a lot, actually. Then I'll make something special just for you. Could you tell me its flavor profile? Um, give me a moment. The blueberry was very sweet and fresh, and the crust was buttery. The flavor was enhanced by the tartness of hibiscus and the herbal coolness of mint. Just a very sweet blueberry pie of hibiscus and mint. All right, we gotta, we got, we can't mess this up, fellas. Very sweet. Honey is probably the sweetest thing we can put in it. Nope. Maybe honey and mint. Yes! Yes! We did it! I honestly am still like confused why some putting things in the wrong order doesn't give you the thing you want, but it's fine. I have nothing in my pockets. Yep. Or a drawer. One pie in the cup coming up. Wow, Leah, that's so extra! It kind of is, isn't it? But it's so pretty. Thank you. It is pretty. Cream and blue. A dessert drink made from steeped hibiscus mint and specially prepared ingredients. Honey. Blueberry cordial with a touch of vanilla. Ooh, fancy. Wagner, Leapstoad, Puccini, Si, Mi, Chiamano, <laughs> Mimi, Vivaldi, Spolsa, Son, Disprezzata, Mozart, De Herla Rocca. That was me trying to say stuff, alright? I'm not trying to say this one. I can't say, uh, Italian. <laughs> um... Emergency goods delivery service available from Bellevue. Uh, seeking addition tips, contact this number. Alright. Oops. But it's so pretty, thank you. It really is. Well done, Leah. But are you really serving a warm pie filling to your customer? It is, it's not a pie filling. I simply make four fruit cordials of honey. And I just happen to have a blueberry one on hand. Sure. It's not a pie filling, trust me. It's not. It's nice. Thank you. You're very welcome. What's on your mind? She just told us what's on her mind, alright? Right now, I'm rethinking my true motivation for doing all this. The driving force behind everything I've done up to this point. Well, what was it? Huh? Your driving force before you started questioning it. Uh, I wish to break free from the shackles of prejudice, whether it's society's or my own. Not only for myself, but also for my kind. I see. So, it doesn't have to be opera, right? Pardon? Reaching that goal can be done a lot of ways, like politics. Huh. You're not wrong, but... <laughs> That was just an example! Jeez! But, I admit, being an entertainer is probably the fastest way to win people over. But that's not what you want to do, is it? Hmm... My heart... 
trembles for the opera. That is why I wish to pursue it, as long as I'm able to. However, I believe it is also time for me to consider expanding my horizons. Oh? I simply do not wish to be trapped in my own fear forever. Although, I do regret that my one-track-minded effort may have been in vain. I don't think everything you've done it so far is in vain, though. Huh? I always believe in sincere efforts. But never mind that. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm not sure. I already rejected Mr. Lucas's offer. Lucas? He's an influencer who's been coming here recently. Why does that name ring a bell? Oh, wait! You know him? Not closely, but I think we follow each other on Tomo Chill. If it's even the same Lucas, I mean. What was the offer for? I was offered a spot on his new show. While he's still unsure of the format, his aim is to elevate underrated talents. To showcase and interview them in order to bring their work to the forefront. I see. So what if you rejected his offer? Call him! H huh? Or text him! Tell him you changed your mind! What's the worst that could happen? People are allowed to change their minds. If he rejects you, well, that's his loss, isn't it? I'm not sure it'd be his loss, necessarily. Shh. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Don't change me from dreams. Hacks him. Yeah. Uh, okay. He... Well, that was fast. He responded. What did he say? He told me to stay here. Because he's coming here soon. Huh. Huh. Mm hmm? Does he live, like, nearby or something? No, not really. But it seems he has some things to do around here. I see! What a great coincidence! That means you can clear things up in person. You're right. Thank you for giving me the courage, Miss Rachel. Just call me Rachel, will you? Alright. Although, I regret my one-track mindset. I cannot say it has been entirely detrimental to my life, as it is a habit formed during my time living in the commune. Commune? We banshees used to congregate together in order to protect ourselves from the outside world. Each of us tended to have a specific role in the commune, and we would all work together as one. Like gears in the machine. Interesting. I didn't know that. But you left the commune, right? Yes. Was it difficult? No, because we're not a cult. <laughs> You could just say no, but <laughs> we're not a cult. So fine, it was easy. It was easy to leave. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. It's okay. The commune is simply a defense mechanism from the dis distant past. So the reason we do not see a lot of banshees around is it because many still choose to remain in the commune? Right. The world still isn't kind to us. However, we are aware that eventually we must reopen ourselves to the outside world. It is for that reason I learned to drive. You seem to be fond of driving. I am. It's like having a mobile fortress. Which is why I find driving calming. Even in traffic? Well... A mobile fortress, huh? Never thought of cars that way, but that's interesting. Oh, when you said everyone has a specific role, what do you mean by that? Sorry, I'm just curious. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. More like moving death traps. You're so right. 
I don't feel safe in my car. <laughs> when I'm driving, I'm fighting for my life. Well, we don't have a banshee culture sensor anywhere. Time to start one then. <laughs> Perhaps it's best if I use a specific example. Such as my mother's role. Oh? Her role is to trade. In the event that we need to increase our supply, or s sell our products, or s are simply in need of some negotiating, it is my mother who will do the job. She must travel to the nearest city or town in order to exchange goods. And she's our representative when other communities need to discuss things with us. Right. You know, she hasn't told us what her role in the commune was before she left. Everyone's work has equal weight. One is in charge of food and drink. Another is in charge of all our laundry. Everyone has a responsibility to set up schedules and organize the collection of goods. So, like, does each role only have one bearer at a time? No, sometimes there are two or more, depending on the power needed. It's all about balance. I see! Interesting! Does your mom still fulfill her role to this day? Yes. Oh, although there are times when I wish she would retire. Why? She is doing a good job with it. But the role truly changed her. Oh. She had to endure years of animosity. She had to negotiate everyone's way out of trouble. Or to simply defend the commune. That is such a heavy burden. It is, but she refuses to accept any help offered to her. Why? Because... Oh, sorry. Because it has become her identity, I think. Uh, oh, you're here. Yeah. Hi, lady. She has a name. Call her by her name. I was starting to wonder when you were going to say something. I introduced myself, but I want to hear Riona's story. Fine by me. Ah, oh, um... It is, as Mr. Lucas said. I thought we were already past all that formal stuff, am I wrong? Well, you still call her lady. Yeah, exactly, me. I have a point. I have a good point. But she is! Ugh. I, I want to slap you. <laughs> just a little... Just a, just a little slap. <laughs> Shh. The lady is speaking. Whoops. Okay. Sorry. It is as uh, Lucas said. Our discussion the other day led to the same conclusion for me as well. My mother's protective instincts turned into an angry sense of pride. Oh. So, while she performs her role really well, her anger often gets the best of her. Uh-oh. Things are way calmer for our commune now, so I am thankful for that. Unfortunately, the damage has already been done. Right. That's when I understood why it Understood why she was angry, too. If your mom has dealt with haters all her life, and you were pretty much in the front seat about for all that, ooh, tough. I guess I can relate in some ways. The Neko Mimi culture is also quite strict, although nowhere as rigid as yours. We're heavily stereotyped as being very mid. <laughs> what does that mean? Mid. Yeah, exactly. What does that mean? Like, mediocre in all ways aside from being pretty and cute. Although, don't get me wrong, I am cute. Huh? That makes me wonder, you know? How much of our survival instincts turned into bad stereotypes? Things have changed so much for everyone. Which means, we should have moved on from terrible prejudice prejudices. <laughs> I said it right. They decades ago, right? So, why are so many still stuck with outdated and bad perceptions? Oh! 
It's the parents. The parents pass it down to the kids and the kids keep these outdated stuff. Alright? It's the parents that... And then their parents' parents and the parents before that. It's just something... Like these prejudices are always just passed down. And then we have to learn... To unlearn... Those, like... Mindsets about people and things. Actually, that's exactly why. Life is complicated and change is hard. Learning and unlearning stuff takes time and mental energy, right? And there are billions of living beings in this world. That's why so many folks choose to reduce their worlds to a size they can handle. All based on their priorities, of course. I mean, it's no different from how everyone chooses content to consume. Ah. Yeah, and sadly, different culture is probably one of the last things on most beings' minds. Unless you already have a vested interest in it, then it's a different story. That makes sense. We all need to survive. I understand that. However, I feel some things just shouldn't be excused. Things we do, the principles we hold... All of it has an impact on others, one way or another. Right. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, by the way, did Pops contact you, lady? You know, about the tree? Oh, he did, in fact. What tree? It's a long story. For real! Sure, keep your smelly secrets. <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> uh, no, no, this is perfect. You should listen too. The more exposure this gets, the better. Oh, so you're going to tell me? From the very beginning. But before I forget. Lady, did you have something to say to me? Since you texted me and all. Haha. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Go on, Riona, say it! Oh. Um, so, about your show. Yeah? You're in, right? Are you still unsure about the format? Well, I'm still trying to put it all in order on paper, so... Kinda? Like, I know I want to do a podcast, a deep dive, and a showcase. But, I'm still trying to figure out a great way to fit them all in nicely. Once I'm done, I'll let you know for sure. What are you planning to show anyway? How do you think it'll help the guests? Ooh, curious, aren't we? <laughs> Basically, I want to cover stuff that's interesting and underrated from around the city. And beyond, if it takes off. But, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? Nah, scratch that. I know it'll take off. That's some confidence you have there. Even though you're not even sure what the format will be? Tut tut. I might not know the exact format yet. But all the elements needed to make a good show are locked and loaded already. Really? What are they? Well, there's already so much content out there, right? And you can't deny that today's audience gets bored easily, too. If something doesn't appeal to them immediately, they'll just click away. So true. So, how to keep them engaged and stick with us, you ask? Well, from my experience, you need roughly five things down pat to keep a show going. The first one being the format itself. Which, ironically, is the one thing, only thing I don't have. Yet. Anyway, proper format has good consistency. Could be the way the show is cut, or how the information flows. It's to build familiarity with the audience, and it makes things easier for the creator, too. That makes sense. The next thing you need is topics. Sure, you can have a main theme for your show. Like singing, or cooking, or anything, really. Having a theme is essential, but getting topics flowing is essential-er! <laughs> Cause even singing will need more than one song, right? 
say what cooking, you need to show many techniques, recipes, all that jazz. That's true, right? Since the goal of the show is to shine a spotlight on all things underrated, I figure it should start small and nearby, but still have the potential to grow. And what's better for that than exploring the city and its inhabitants in depth? Especially since I'm fairly new here and all. Ooh. You get what I'm saying? I can see there are many interesting topics to discuss. Yeah! Like locations, events, history. Yes, and any interesting individuals to me. Definitely! Project, side project, plenty of things to cover. Makes sense. What's next? Know your audience. Honestly, in this internet era, you don't need to appeal to everyone. If you do it right, you can target just one type of audience and still get a lot of eyes. Fortunately, I have my base audience already. But since the show will be in a completely new format, a lot of them will reject it. Because people do not like change. That's right! But honestly, that's fine. I'm trying to attract an audience that's more open-minded and can help elevate the stuff we're going to spotlight. Like, say, if we cover musicians, they'll go to their sites or live shows. Some cool neighborhood project, they'll be eager to check it out. A cool coffee shop, they'll be interested in visiting. Wink, wink. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you all know what I mean. The next thing is audio quality. Great visuals and edits. You know the drill. Of course. And the last thing you need for a good show is... Me! <laughs> dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Hey! What's with the awkward silence? I mean, personality and smarts. To find info, you need to be re resourceful. And to relay well information well, you need to... A good personality, right? Well, I'm your guy. <laughs> Why? What's so funny? Am I not the perfect guy? Wink. <laughs> Resourceful, huh? Really? Oh, so that is what you're questioning, huh? I'm just saying. Because then you say you're new to the city, so... Oh, I see. I see how it is. <laughs> but you've really thought this through. I'm kind of impressed. Thank you. Probably won't be anywhere near as big as your talk show, though. I'll tell you that. Huh? Rumor has it that your manager is trying to get your old girl band back together. And I heard there'll be a talk show or something for it. Oh, really? How did you hear that? Tisk tisk, I have my ways. I didn't get the info from shady sources, I promise! Well, okay. I'll give you that, resourceful guy. But your information is outdated already! Oh? Because I won't be in the show. Oh? Why? Well, hmm... I actually like the idea of a comeback. But if it were to come... Or, sorry. If it were ha... Blah, 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 blah. But, if it were to happen, I would want new branding, you know? Like, a new us, to show we've grown. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, I get that, 100%. That's too bad. Why? I think you have a talent for getting people to talk. You are able to read the room with sensitivity. Therefore, I would definitely be interested in watching your talk show program. You think so? Uh-uh. I'm flattered. You're right about that, though. I'm pretty good. But I'd rather express myself through my music, my songs, and my performances. You know? Yes. I understand it very well. Then, do you want to be our first guest? Me? Why? I thought you wanted to highlight independent artists. Well, aren't you making a new kind of music lately, Miss Rachel? So, you actually have a side project. Huh, well, yeah, but... I was kidding about inviting you earlier, but hey, maybe it could work out after all. 
Hop on a new channel, will you? You wish. I'm a very busy Neko Mimi. But maybe. Woo! <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. What is it, Leah? I thought your plan was to have Miss Riona as your first guest. Yeah, Lucas! That's what I was thinking, too! I mean, I said that, but I was thinking that the whole time. I was like, hey! Riona's right there! Oh, thank you for the headset, Lena. Also, hi! Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Lurking. That's fine. You can lurk as much as you want. Oh. Oh, <gasps> well, about that. I'm definitely jumping the gun here, but... <sighs> I was kinda hoping you'd be my co-host instead. What? Me? I was going to ask you later, but Leah over here cornered me of something fierce. Yeah, exactly! I was like, wait! What happened to your plan earlier, Buster? Oops, sorry. Why me? I like the way you explain difficult subjects, and I really enjoy talking to you. You have plenty of knowledge and experience from being on the road a lot. And all your stories are so damn interesting. Plus, someone needs to offset my chaotic, chaotic personality. By contrasting coasts, huh? Yeah, what's more, she's not nervous talking in front of the camera at all. Well, she is a performer. Riona's going to be garned? <laughs> Why garned? I think she'd be more level-headed. Like, I think she'd be like the Joey. <laughs> but she didn't! I know, I know. I'm just saying, she's a natural on camera. So yeah, that's what I was going to ask later. If you want to be my co-host. Uh, only if you're interested, of course. <laughs> As for the experience side. Okay, got it. I... I might need a moment to consider. Of course! Of course! Take your time. Um, however... You are open to receiving input. May I throw in an idea for the format of the show? For real? Of course you may! And I'm staying until you all tell me everything I missed. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah! The night's still young anyway. Oh wow, the, the days are just getting shorter now. Oh, I just realized that Ginger in here is supposed to look like a rocket ship. I thought it was like a T-Rex foot. <laughs> I was like, this is an interesting shape. Oh my gosh, we're doing it, fellas. Thinking too much about Grandpa. <laughs> Monday, October 2nd, 2023. Users of Tomodachil's new stories feature. It needs a longer duration. That piece of halfling advice that's seared into my memory. Gobbly lab shut down. Researcher to finally stop experiments. Oh, jeez. After 1,304 incidents. Ooh. Oh, this is scary. Uh, hello? Alright, two more days. We can do this. No, 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 no. So I drove him around while he was nursing up his broken heart. Oh wait, look at all these tomodachas I got. Hold on. No delivery today. Ch ch check this out. Your boy has started a new podcast for y'all. Want to know more? Sorry, not sorry. I forgot to post a trailer. Sunglasses emoji. Here it is. Full version dropping at 8 p.m. 
Do you like video podcast? Colon three. Here it is! DTR, down to ride blog number one, mystery adventure! With my super co-host, Riona Sheeran, and a special surprise guest star, Nekochel! Go watch it now! Wait, they did this all last night? Did they just make a whole podcast episode last night? <laughs> what? Or I guess it could be like during the day too. But like, basically, less than a day. Look how cute they look. Aww. Something new. I appeared as a guest star in this impromptu broadcast. Check it out and have fun with us. <laughs> Riona, just post a picture. That's so cute all together. They're like a very unlikely trio of friends I was not expecting to see. <laughs> But I guess they're like the youngest of the the cast, I think. So I drove him around while he was nursing his broken heart. I really don't know why we're discussing my sad stories right now. Eyes on the happy couple. Aww, it wasn't sad so much as cute though. But it's true that you and Mr. Bailey should be in the, spot miss in the spotlight, Miss Lua. Oh, it's the wedding! This is the wedding day! Or just in the light. Sorry, I'm trying to get the switch. Ow! Oh. Whoops, my apologies, Mr. Gala. You're literally solid, like a wall. <laughs> Me feeling up Mr. Gala's chest. Oh, is this the light switch? <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Ah, here we go. What? Ah. Oh my god! They're so cute! Oh my god! Look at them! Wait, I'm, I'm like in front of Gala. Hold on. I know my big old head's been covering people's faces. Alright. We'll just have this as a temporary one. You all found your way to the seat. I'm impressed. Well, we've been here often enough that we know the place like the back of our hand. That's what it means to have regulars, Leah. So it does. Now, shall we get... The celebration started. Please! I'm so excited. Oh, it's so cute! I just realized. I was like, why is Lua's outfit like that? Uh, Bailey's gave her his tuxedo jacket. That's cute. That's adrenaline for you. Hang on to that feeling. You call it adrenaline. I call it deep, passionate, irresistible fascination for her husband. Hey, hey, hey. Don't get too cocky, Mr. Miller. Oh, are you taking Lua's last name, Bailey's? Huh, no. We're keeping our last names. But I'll be Mr. Miller if it pleases Mrs. Miller. Anything to make you happy. Aww, you always make me melt. Stop that! You're being embarrassing! Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting! He said, wiping his tears. How many times must I tell you? It was the city hall flowers. They make my allergies flare up. <laughs> He's just like me for real, right? Yeah, I get you. Sure, let's go back. This would be the perfect time for some drinks. I wouldn't say no to something hot for sure. And to something sweet. Something decadent and chocolatey. But let's keep it fresh. Guys, this is way too many orders. There's enough sweetness in here to give me a sugar rush. So, hum, in summary, sweet and chocolatey, but with some freshness. Oh, sorry. With some freshness to it. Please, Leah. 
Oh, for everyone? Okay. Chocolate? Uh, mint and honey? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I made a drink! <laughs> I made a drink! I don't have anything in my drawer. Okay. Let's try that. This is inspired by a sweet evening treat. Hopefully the drink is to your liking. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to make four separate drinks. I love it. It's very unique and festive. Very comforting. Exactly what I had in mind. It's fine. High praise from Hyde. You know it. Tastes a bit British. Have you ever been on that side of the pond, Leah? Oh, I did a bit of traveling in my day. Maybe we ran into each other in the past. Maybe we did. Don't spill my secret, Hyde! <laughs> A whiff of old warmed... Old warm? <laughs> Thank you for the metal pipe redeem, Kuril. Hope you're doing well. A whiff of old world charm. A soup... Of intensity. And a dash of fresh air. For timeless late night celebrations. Passing each other like two ships in the night before meeting at the mooring. That's very lyrical. <laughs> I blame the mood on you two. All I know about the UK is that British werewolf guy I once met. He went absolutely wild during Fury. But even then, he would beg the wall's pardon after putting his fist through it. Sounds about right. And I imagine you two became great friends. Nah. You know rude vampires are much more my type. Ooh! <laughs> hey! Actually, no. I'm not offended. <laughs> rude vampire and proud of it. Ioni, is this you? Is this Ioni? <laughs> Rude vampire and proud of it. <laughs> that would look great on a t-shirt. Awesome idea. I'll consider that for a Christmas gift. <laughs> right. I guess we should raise a toast. Does anyone want to make a speech? Someone? Leah maybe? Ah, uh, I don't think I'm the right person to give speeches. You definitely are. Yes, if you want to, we'd love to hear you. In that case, thank you for choosing to come to this cafe, Miss Lua, Mr. Bailey's. And thank you for making us feel a true part of your lives. Hear, hear! You'll always be a part of our lives now, Leah. Whoa! They've adopted me! Absolutely. Short and to the point. Good speech. Your turn, Hyde. Really? Ah, oh, well, fine. Thank you, Lua and Bailey's, for entertaining me and making me consider a counseling career, however briefly. You're a good bunch. That means a lot, Hyde. You've been a very good friend to us. Don't think we're forgetting about you, Gala. Speech time. Right. I don't know you as well as Leah, guys. And I haven't helped you nearly as much as Hyde did. But despite that, you've made me feel welcome. You've immediately made me feel a part of your family. May this warmth that you show others always reflect this joy in the family you're starting today. Aww. What? Oh, that was a nice one. Aw, Gawa. Thanks, man. Really. To the happy couple. To the happy couple. 
to the happy couple. Are your allergies troubling you again, Mr. Hyde? Leah, my dear Leah. Never think that you're out of reach of my retribution. <laughs> Ahem. I do apologize that we only serve soft drinks here. Some bubbles might would have Oh wait, did I just read that? I think it meant to say we don't so serve soft drinks. Some bubbles would have befitted the occasion. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. As far as I'm concerned, it suits me just fine. Yeah. Oh no, it's it's right. But I don't know. Soft drinks. You would describe that for tea? Yeah, we're not really drinking booze these days. Oh? Speaking of starting a family, just in case, you know? Ooh! <laughs> and I'm avoiding it in solidarity. Aw. That's nice, you guys. Rooting for you. Thanks, Gala. Just imagine. Little purple elves with horns running around everywhere. And <laughs> thanks, I think, Hyde. I aim to please. <laughs> Personally, I'm fine of soft drinks as well. It's a reference about blood sucking? Never liked the stronger stuff. He's not lying, I never saw him touch it. Is there any specific reason why not? I just don't like the taste. Never got used to it. Never particularly tried to. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh oh. Some. So, uh, or sorry. People assume I like to drink, especially since I'm a big burly dude, I guess. But nope. Assumptions like that are annoying to me. I like that you, can that you look at it just as a, a taste among others, Gala. Sometimes I want to taste wine, and sometimes I just want tomato juice. Well. <laughs> those are totally different, yeah. Definitely. Booze just becomes this big social thing. And I, for one, wish there were a better range of soft drinks. I went to a very expensive restaurant a while ago. They had a soft drink pairing option. They imported some alcohol-free vermouth, homemade so some fruit juice. It all tasted really nice and unique. Oh, that does sound nice. But then, they also had edible rope. What? Am I reading that right? But then they also had edible robots? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and they made a miniature forest out of vegetables and dark chocolate. What? Okay, this is just fancy. What? How can you make an edible robot? Hello? Wow. When did you go to a place like that? Oh, a while ago. Of my family, back when we were still in touch. Hey. I'm okay, sweetie. Oh, wait, I just noticed their rings are on their fingers now. That's sweet. Well, I make a mean cocktail. There's a hard version and a soft version. You know, I've never heard uh, non alcoholic. Okay, that's what I think that's what it's. <laughs> I never heard of non alcoholic. Drinks be referred as soft drinks. When I think of soft drinks, I'm thinking pop. You know? Or soda. Sorry. That's for Ioni. I don't think of it as like... <laughs> okay, I understand what they're trying to say now. Because I was like, I'm so confused. By what they meant by soft drinks. Alright. In the hard version, I use vodka. Soft version. I don't use vodka. Great, 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 great recipe. Fair enough. What else goes into it? Ah, a little bit of basil, some lemon juice, a pinch of salt, tonic water. That sounds like something I would enjoy. Wait for it. And of course, a big dollop of fresh blood. Here it comes. O type, preferably. Universal donors, and all that. Yuck. <laughs> Ew! Mixing your blood with vodka? That sounds gross. I... 
think this is a joke. I ho hope this is a joke. And this is why he never gets invited to parties. What do you mean? I'm invited to all the parties. Thank you so much for being with us, the three of you. Thank you for having us. It was fun to meet your friends from work, Baileys. And your sister, Lua. She's got a very strong character. I respect that. She's impossible, you mean. But I love her to bits. Yeah, she took a while to warm up to me at first. Oh, just a year or three. I should try it? No, thank you. She probably wanted to make sure you were right for her baby sister. Yes, that was definitely the reason why. She always thinks of me as some sort of... softy that she needs to protect. Well, I mean, compared to her, Gala is a softy. I'd say Gala is a softy compared to many people. This is so true. Fair enough. But yes, I think she could take him when she's under fury. Or when... When he's under fury. If Leah ever moves out and I'm out of a special tea, I can ask for your sister's number, I guess. <laughs> you would have to hurry. Or you'll have to step over. Hmm. Your primary school friend, Bailey's. Marco! I thought I'd caught him staring at her. I bet they didn't leave it at staring. The two witnesses. Delightfully cliche, isn't it? <laughs> you seem to be enjoying the gossip very much, Mr. Hyde. Of course I do. That's how I take my best pictures. Longing glances. A chit filled. Okay. Scorn. What is that? Dissimulated? In a smirk? Hopefully you've captured some pictures of our lovebirds, too. Ah, yes. I really can't wait to see them. Well, that's the downside of film. I know, I know. But it'll be worth it, so I'm happy to be patient. Good girl. In that case, I have a little reward for you. A perfect shot. Oh, Look at that! Oh, Oh my gosh, Bailey's had his hair... Uh, what do you call it? Gelled up or whatever. Look at Lua! She's so pretty! Oh, look at this bay! This is amazing. What a beautifully captured moment, Mr. Hyde. Yes, truly. Thank you again for doing this, Hyde. Don't mention it. I had an alright time doing it. You can keep this if you want. Just a Polaroid, but... Ah, oh, no! It's absolutely lovely! It looks so friendly and warm. Like the wedding we always really wanted to have. Yes, once we sifted through the superfluous details... I love that you guys figured that out in the end. And I love this picture. Do you have only the one, Mr. Hyde? Why, yeah. You wanted to frame it and hang it on your wall. Actually, yeah, something like that. Good thing I saw it coming. If our newly ones don't object, I have almost the same exact one here for you. No objections whatsoever. Yeah, I'd love that. It would mean a lot to have a little memory of this day hanging around here. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Yes, Leah. I don't know what- I'm not sure where we'd be without you. Well, you guys would be broken up. Ahem. So, I take it you have decided to embrace photography, Mr. Hyde? It would seem so. Ah, oh, come on, tell them. Tell us what? Nothing's been confirmed yet. They're certainly not going back on it, and you aren't either, right? Of course not. Well then. Ah, just tell them the story. It's obvious you're dying to. I think that's... <laughs> Don't have to ask me twice. Hyde has already agreed to shoot another wedding. They're a really sweet couple who's been coming to visit their kid at the hospital. Little Rose has been sick for a while. Doctors think she's going to get better eventually, but no one knows exactly when. So, her parents have decided to get married in her room with her around. Aww, that's sweet! 
That's a lovely idea. I bet little Rose is thrilled. She is. An entire party next to her bed. Can you imagine? Anyhow, they got to chatting with Hyde. And just like that, he promised to take their pictures. Pro bono. That's very good of you, Mr. Hyde. It's nothing. I could use experience. So that I can milk my modeling ex-colleagues for their wedding pictures. Sounds like good social retribute. Yeah. Redistribution to me. Right? So, does that mean you're sticking around Seattle for good high? I've got the house and I've got the job. And I've got my own pocket werewolf. Pocket werewolf, huh? So it sounds like I'll be staying here a little while. Yay! That's great to hear. How's the house coming along? Taking ages, but it'll look good when it's finished. I'm having it redone from scratch, so it's a process. But, as a vampire, my needs are a little... particular. Fair enough. I think it's terrible to be particular when it comes to your dream home, you know? What would a dream home... What would a... Blah, blah, blah. What would a dream house look like for the two of you? Hmm, we're not too sure yet. But, we're not repeating the same mistakes. No endless Toma chill scrolling to look at other people's houses. And over, uh, of overspending or feeling inadequate on my side. Oh, my love. It's alright. I'm glad we talked it all through. Lua made me realize that it's fine if I don't earn as much as she does. And if my family doesn't contribute anything. In fact, Lua's mom told me the same during the wedding. I didn't know you talked about it. Don't worry. It went really well. She said what mattered to her is that I make her daughter happy. Which is good, because that's what matters to me too. And a happy Lua is a Lua who powers through her job. She's girl bossing! Yeah, I really can't consider slowing down my career. Well, maybe a little. Yeah, when the time comes, but... The thing is, I don't mind slowing down my career. I've always been the one bringing up the kids topic. It's not that I don't want them, but I was afraid what it'd do to my work. That makes sense. Also, Bailey's would be like a house husband. Women are always expected to do more when it comes to child rearing. Well, not in our couple. We've decided that when we have kids, I'll be a stay-at-home dad. I'll still do some freelance work if and when I have time. Not so much for the work, or not so much for the money as to keep my brain working. So true. But I'll be taking care of the little ones and of our place. You know, I keep thinking how happy I am that I met you and married you. Oh, they're being cheesy! Not many men would have wanted that. You'd be surprised. Times are changing and so on. Times are making more room for people to follow their wishes. I've known many men who'd have rather stayed home with their children than go to work every day and almost never see them. You two just compliment each other well. I think so too. Mr. Miller? Mrs. W? Ah, no. Using my family name on you feels wrong. Huh. They would throw a fit if they heard you do that. They absolutely would. It's almost tempting. <laughs> but none of that matters much anyway. As long as we're still Lua and Bailey's. As long as we're still Lua and Bailey's. Aw, oh, excuse me. It sounds like Hyde has found a new way forward. He has, yeah. I'm really happy about that. When I first met him, I thought he was a bit mysterious. And honestly, a bit of a jerk. But he's really quite fragile, isn't he? There is nothing more solid and more fragile than an immortal. Yeah, nothing screws up your head quite as much as having unlimited time. Even elves with their only longish lives have issues. I can imagine. Werewolves are some somewhere between elves and humans. And we also struggle with that stuff. I guess the bottom line is... Everyone gets bored and confused once in a while, right? And the longer you live, the more once in a while you get. That makes sense to me. I will say, though. I'm mighty happy that he's sticking around. Well, he was gonna stick around anyway, Buster! 
for all that he can be a difficult one, he also makes life a lot more interesting. And we just really get each other after all this time. You know what I mean? Oh, you too know what I mean. Yes, we really do. At this point, even when we need to take a bit of a time out, we can trust that we'll always find our way back to each other. That's right. You know, he's got a way of finding good people. Why, I mean. He liked Leah from the start. Not that I've ever disagreed, but he just really got you right away. He has been very kind to me, and perceptive about me as well. And I'm glad he befriended you two. This chat, right now, it's really good. You're alright too, Gala. Just alright! Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing more of you. Ha! Huh, right back at ya. Ah, listen to that. Pouring rain again. I'd be really cold if I didn't have your jacket, bay. bay. But are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I always worry about you. Oh, they're at it again! And I guess that's kind of my job now. Only if I get to worry about you too. Oh! <laughs> you guys are cute. And you know what's even better than worrying about each other? Not worrying about each other. Point taken. Rainy weddings are meant to be good luck anyway. I've always wondered where that came from. It sounds like lip service for the happy couple. To avoid a meltdown if it rains, which must happen often enough. Really? So you don't know? Know what? Huh, maybe it's just a thing among elves. Have you heard of it, Leah? Are you referring to the Goddess's Tears legend? That's the one! Never heard of that. It's actually a whole epic in medieval elven poetry. But I can give you the short version. Go on, I'm very curious. Alright then. A long time ago lived a powerful goddess. That goddess had many children, but of all her children, one she liked best. They were the shyest and the quietest. When their siblings screamed for attention, they sat aside and played the clouds. When their siblings tormented each other, they silently looked at the stars. When their siblings ran away from the rain, they waited and watched the rain fall. The goddess thought, Even if all my children desert me, this one will always be my, by my side. They are kind and gentle. They will love me and take care of me. She thought of the days ahead and smiled. But one day, as the young godling sat on the edge of the cloud, pondering the world, oh, a gust of wind blew on them, and they lost their balance. Oh no! Don't worry, it's not a sad story. Alright then. <laughs> Carried by the wind, they floated down to the ground. And immediately, they were astonished. There were so many things around them that they'd never seen before. They were both delighted and lost, and they stood rooted in place for many human eras. Until a few human found them there. Ah, uh, shall we call the godling Eon and the human Ray, just for clarity. That's gonna help me for sure. I get lost about names. Alright, Eon and Ray it is. Ray walked up to Eon, and finding them, stunned, guided them forward. They took them to their village and showed them how they lived their life. As days passed, Eon started talking to Ray. They discussed stars and planets, clouds and suns. They talked of harvest and of young children, of famines and old men. They talked of time and of eternity, and as they looked into each other's eyes, they found both the briefest of moments and the longest era in there. That's how they both knew they were in love. They decided to get married, but both of them wanted the assent of their family. Ray got it without any trouble. Their family was quite fond of Eon by then. But when Eon went to see their mother, the goddess, the old hag... <laughs> oh, give her a chance, my love. She improves. But yeah, at first she wasn't thrilled. Doing some what? In fact, 
She was outraged that her favorite child should be taken away from her. That reminds me of someone. I promise you, she's a lot better than my mother. Anyway, she got really angry and she told Eon. Get married if you wish, but if you do get married, then you shall wither and die, just like your fiancé. Yuck. And to nobody's surprise at this point, Eon said, I'm alright with that. What's eternity if I can't have Ray by my side? Down to get married they went. For many hours, the goddess was angry and shouted. And for many more hours, she was despondent and sulked. And then finally, she turned an eye onto the ground to look at Eon and Ray. They were in the field where Ray had first found Eon. They wore garlands of flowers and they were surrounded with people they loved. And for the first time, Eon wasn't quiet at all. They were singing and dancing, their eyes sparkling, their hair floating on the wind. And the goddess saw that for the first time in an eternity, their child was happy. Oh, thank you for the head pat! I don't know when you did that. I was reading. <laughs> She regretted her bitter words then, but a, uh, but a goddess's word once spoken isn't easily broken. In sadness for her child's mortal day, she started crying, and one by one her tears hit the earth in a thick cloud of rain. But instead of running from it, Eon and Ray danced with it, and so the goddess said, For each tear of mine that falls onto you, may you live another year. And even as your hair turns gray and your skin turns parched, may that ear see you both dancing and singing, still in love with each other. And, according to elves, that's how we became to be. But I think that's a bit far-fetched. My love, are you tearing up? It's nothing! You're just really beautiful sometimes. Oh, now they're at it again! You're a born legend teller, Mr. Baileys. That was an astonishing rendition of that story. Yeah, that was epic. I'm not gonna look at the rain the same way now. Oh, that's just a silly legend. That's not silly at all. And you're right, the goddess is a lot better than your mother. <laughs> Told you. My history of rain is a lot simpler. I just really love it when it rains outside, and you're all warm indoors. Yeah, that's a very cozy feeling. My bedroom, when I was a little girl, was on the top floor. So I could hear the rain fall at night when I was in my bed. It was great! Ah, I wish we'd lived in a world where everyone had that. A place to be safe while the rain falls outside. Oh, I know. I wish that for that too. For sure. Kitty! Oh look, here's at least another someone who's safe from the rain right now. Oof, that's a very wet little guy. Poor Gala, did he just shake rain all over you? He did a little, but that's fine. He's a cute one. What's he doing here though? Is he your cat, Leah? Oh no, but he's been around a couple of times. I do remember seeing him a week or two or so ago. He's not any friendlier than he was then. Although, he's not especially aggressive either. Maybe he's adopting this place. Wouldn't that- wouldn't be the first. That's pretty much how you got hide too. Kitty! Now that's an apt comparison. It seems that he might be looking for something though. Or someone. If that's the case, he hasn't found them yet. He came by another time a few days ago, and was quite, actually quite helpful. But he didn't look settled then either. And there he goes. Very mysterious. What did I miss? A cat, apparently. Ah yes, I saw it go. What was that about? We're not entirely sure. He has come by a handful of times, but he doesn't seem to stay very long, or ask for anything. I was saying that he might be looking for someone. Ah, perhaps he is. 
many traditions, cats are depicted as having special foresight. Messengers between worlds, so to speak. He may know something that we don't, or see something we can't see. It's just what they want you to believe. Looking mysterious to get food and clothes. <laughs> I was saying that reminds me of someone, actually. No comment. Uh-huh. Anyhow, what was that called about? That was the interior designer about the house. For some reason, he needed to know the exact size of my turntable. As well as I will as well as whether I wanted walnut or oak floors. I just want floors I can walk on. That's surprising. I thought you'd be more particular about decoration hide. I am particular in the sense that I want it to look good. But he's got no clue what to do. What that? But he's got no clue what to do to get there. I mean, you've seen his car. It's not, you know, peak design trends. That car served me right. Thank you very much. I remember when a certain werewolf didn't want me to drive me around. Ah, I shouldn't have brought that up. Truce! Why don't you help hide the decorating then, Gala? Why indeed? I... my job. Time. Your job? Time? I see. Everyone's a critic, but the truth is... Gala has no understanding of color, material, or shape. I'm a lazy interior de designer at best, but Gala is an interior designer's waking net nightmare. Not true. I just go for functional things. That's what people say when they've got no taste. You know, this day is going a lot fast, like longer than I thought it would. Yeah, maybe my taste in vampires is a problem here. I think your taste in vampires is your one saving grace. Uh-oh, they're bickering! Ugh. They're all laughing. You guys sound like you're just gonna be fine. Indeed. You know, being like this all together when it's dark and damp, and feeling good and safe, and home. It's a pretty rare feeling in a kind of public place. I think the kinda is key here. As far as I can remember, this has never felt like a strange place to me. It's my space that I'm lucky enough to share with other people I like. I definitely feel the same way. Thanks for that, Leah. I'm glad that's how it feels to you. Our patrons' comfort has always been our priority. Goal very much achieved then. That, and also you are all right. You all are right. Oh, I've been reading for so long! <laughs> it sounds like everyone's gonna be busy with our own stuff for a while. But I can't wait to come here and see your faces again. Whether in a week or a month or a year, I just know it's gonna be a good time. Here's the bet! Here, here! <laughs> You are all welcome anytime, separately or together. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you get up to. We'll definitely pop in to give you news. And to get fury remedies. And to listen in under a drama. We can't wait to welcome you back. Oh, the rain stopped. I think the rain is over. And we've kept you up for a while already, Leah. Yeah, we should all use the dry spell to get back home. Consider the night calm. You you go first, guys. I'll be stepping on each other's toes. Alright. Good night, Leah. Good night. Good night, you two. I can be unbiggened. Let's go, darling. Let's. Good night, Leah. Thanks again for being with us. Good night and other nights. Of course! No thank you, for everything, truly. Have a good rest, Leah. Will do. You guys coming? Yeah, just hold the door for me a second longer. Hey, What are you doing? I'm carrying you over the threshold, of course. That's on the way into the home, not on the way out of the bar. Oh, that's hide. <laughs> I can do both. You're silly! Maybe, but I love you. Oh! I love you too! 
bustling, busy in a buzz. People whose thoughts I can almost I can hear almost as well as my own by now. Whose success and failures matter to me as much as my own. I suppose that's what it feels like. To have a chosen hive. Aww! My god, we're on the last day. <laughs> it's only took three hours! Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Thank you for the head pet, Linda. Fire director resigns in the wake of shocking leaks. Heir of American business royalty disowned over choice of wife. Killer algae, the new invasive species? We're on the last day! Alright guys, I'm gonna be right back for about maybe five minutes. I'm gonna go feed Misty. It's her wet food time. So I'm gonna go feed her, I'm gonna get stocked up on more water, and then I'll be back and we'll hopefully finish this game when I come back, alright? Okay? Alright. I'll see you in about five minutes. Take this time to stretch. Maybe eat something. Just do whatever. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Thank you. 
Back. Time to raid the fridge. Woo! <laughs> I hope you got some good snacks, Linda. Leah and the super high prof professional backgrounds. I'll oh, thank you enough. That uh, that be right back screen is by RD underscore create. It's in my credits. But they open their scabs sometimes, and they make really great. Uh, animations. But honestly, they're so popular now. Like, they were popular before. But, like, it's really hard to get a slot now. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll see what you find in my fridge. Um, I have, I have a roast chicken in there. <laughs> I have roast chicken and some rice if you want that. I also have cookies. You might be thinking, wow, why do you have cookies in your fridge? Well, I have a, I, I had a chilled cookie from Crumble Cookie. It's like strawberry... Like a strawberry... Like a popsicle? I think that's what the cookie's like based on. You'll take it? Okay, go ahead. Alright. We're in the final stretch now. Oh! <sighs> Misty's got her food, I got my water. I got- I, I stood up and walked around a little bit. The snacks are going to your belly. Oh, we have like little cheese puffs in the pantry if you want that. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for the metal pipe redeem. More snackies! Yeah! We also have um, tortilla chips with a spinach. It's like a cream cheese spinach artichoke dip. It's really good. I recommend it. There's like another flavor in there too, I can't remember it off the top of my head. No, I can't play it! Ah, They're married! Ah, look at that! I took a picture of Gala! Silver! The silver has such a silly face here. The smiley face. I think it's supposed to show. S that, that's Amanda's hand. Cute. Oh, thank you for the head pat. I think by the end of it, I'm in this industry for the love of it. Love of it. And to keep having fun is the mindset. I will keep moving forward. Smiley face. Having someone you can connect with, especially within the same industry, is really something I'm glad for. Aww, everyone's happy! Alright. Some 
Wow, this feels like deja vu. Hey. Welcome, Officer Georgie. What's cracking? Sorry, I was looking at the, the wall. Look, we have a little... I think we have, like, uh, Rachel's single over here. And that's the wedding picture! That's so cute. And we have, like, an old-timey camera here, too, I guess? I'm not sure what this is in the middle right here. This is the wedding invitation. I recognize that. Aww, cute! Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Yep, deja vu. What? Nothing. Everything's fine. I have everything I need to avoid another blackout. That's good news. <laughs> you know. This weather has kind of grown on me. I mean, you've lived here forever, right? Really? Yeah. Not something I'd like to have forever, of course. But the thunder no longer sounds so angry to me. Interesting. What did it sound like to you? Hmm. No idea. <laughs> Just not scary anymore. Anyway, I want to order something. Perfect. What would you like? Uh, make me whatever I ordered a couple weeks ago. What? You expect me to remember that? A couple weeks ago? Yeah, give or take. You are promoting a new tea selection at the time. Good times. I remember it had an interesting color. I'll take whatever you gave me that day. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna guess, and if I don't get it right, I'll look it up. Or Ioni can look it up. I believe it was blue pea. Blue pea. He was talking about the lightning. What if it's blue lightning? Here you go, officer. I don't think I got it. Hmm. Not really what I ordered, I think. Oh, it isn't? I disappointed him! You're right, I'm sorry. No! Alright, let me look this up. This is the final day. From blue pea. So basically, he didn't ask for a specific drink, he just asked for one of the new teas. I don't remember which one, so I'll just guess. Oh, I don't remember! To the side? Where do you see that? Or oh, to the site? It's like the thing is... Mm. Maybe I'll just give him blue pea. Oh, you're fine. Let's see, maybe I just gave him blue pea tea. A cup of anthocyanins for you, officer. What? It's what makes the drink blue. Ooh, okay. Still tastes like grass. There you go, I remembered! <laughs> I didn't remember at all, I discussed right. But my daughter told me this is really good for stress. Really? Are you stressed right now? Nah, don't worry. Since my daughter loves it so much, I was just trying to remind myself of how it tastes. Yeah, nice we got it right. Oh, good. Well, usually blue pea is mixed with a bunch of different other ingredients. 
It's a very forgiving drink taste-wise, and goes well with most things. And it looks pretty. Yeah, I can see that. Because it's tasteless, except for grassy notes when you drink it straight. Right on. Does this mean you've already made up with your daughter? More or less. That's great. How are you, officer? How's work? Work, huh? Well, it's only been a couple of days since I was here. But I admit, a lot has happened. Oh? Oh, looks like he's pleased, though. He's pleased with what has happened. <laughs> Patience, pal. We don't have all the players here to complete the story yet. Oh, is someone else coming? Two more. Alright then. But what do you mean, complete the story? Oh! Do you think Georgie used their podcast, or excuse me, blogcast, to like spread some rumors about the area? Well, like I said, there's been a lot going on. I can't recount the whole thing alone. I see. But you know, Leah. For a while, this old man felt like he'd been living in a stagnant pool. When he thought he started out on a flowing stream. It didn't take long for him to find out it wasn't a stream or a pool. It was more like a mud puddle that was constantly being filled with dirt year after year. And, well, no matter how much he tried to keep it clean, the puddle would always dry out before any of his attempts bear fruit every single time. He'd be stuck on the bottom with only occasional rainwater keeping his distance going. Right. However, after a bout of heavy rain, he discovered a small crack of hope. A thin line leading to another flowing water in the original direction he wanted. Know what I'm saying? I don't know exactly, but I kind of get it. I think so. Lucas in the house, yo! Hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? New pops, how goes it? All good. You're in high spirits, aren't you? Always. Anyway, Pops, what's shaking? I think I should be the one asking you that. What's with all the excess energy? You're right. I should probably explain. But first... Dear Leah, may I put in an order? You may. Haha! I'd like a blue pea latte with super cool latte art on top. Oh no! Alright guys. What should I draw on the blue pea latte? This is probably our final art of the game. Is it just milk milk? <laughs> yes! 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 Alright guys. <laughs> Ioni's reaction is so funny. Um, I feel like this should be a picture. Stop! It's gonna be amazing. Don't even. I'm so. This should be like a picture that commemorates our time together, that we've been playing coffee talk throughout all, all these months. Stop! Okay, I... Mm. Alright, I'm gonna draw... myself. <laughs> uh... What, how does this commemorate our time together? Because I'm here. Duh! So I'm gonna draw myself as a wolf. Alright, ready? Oh, it's not working. It's fine! This is my ears. Um, and then fluffy, and then like this. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. And then I gotta make my eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, and then what's my signature? Like we need like. <laughs> 
And then this is my bow. Yeah. Stop. And then uh, um, I'll write sun spell, right? Sun. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right. You loving this or what? It's me. Sunspell. Oh, we should put chat in there. Uh, right here. This is chat. This is the speech bubble. This is their guys are saying stuff in there. I'm crying. <laughs> okay, okay. This is perfect, right? You see it? This is me crying because you guys are so funny. This is chat. This is Sunspell here. No! You can see it! You can see it! This is my nose! This is my ears! This is my eyes! That's my bow! This is sunspout! And this is chat! And I'm crying! <laughs> there you go, alright? I'm crying of joy, by the way, because I love chat. Oh, I should make a heart. This is a heart, because I love chat. <laughs> alright! No! <laughs> Why are you doing that? I look impeccable. Thank you. Oh no, it's terrible. I mean, <laughs> it looks great. This looks amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am a true artiste. There you go, guys. That's us. That's us together. In the latte. A cup of blue latte with a masterpiece on it for you, sir. Exactly. Exactly, masterpiece. Look, in game Leah said it, so it's a masterpiece. I don't hear that. I only <laughs> stutters like five times. A masterpiece, eh? I like your confidence. Oh, he's putting it on the ground. That, that, that. Anyway, cheers. Nice. Thanks, Leah. So, what's up, kid? All's well, pops. I'm waiting for the lady to arrive. Oh, so Miss Yellow is coming. Yep, she should be here soon. The last couple of days have been really intense for us. In fact, I didn't sleep at all until last night. Oh dear! Haha. <laughs> oh, why? Let's just say we've been busy cooking up stuff. Tisk tisk. What? What is it? I know you're a hustler, kid. Your schedule is probably not like everyone else's. But I hope you won't drag others unhealth or er, oh yeah, drag others into unhealthy habits unnecessarily. Although I know no next to nothing about banshee biology. Doesn't she do late night deliveries? Oh, sometimes she does deliveries until morning. Ah, then never mind, kid. Forget everything I said earlier. Phew! I was like, oh man, what stupid thing did I do this time? Nah, I was just pulling your leg. They're both adults. I was just playing around as the nosy and annoying old guy. <laughs> I was just role-playing, bro. I was just role-playing as a nosy, annoying old guy. Still, it's good that you guys are talking. Especially, considering what happened the first time you two met. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I mean by me doing stupid things, too. Sometimes I don't slow enough slow down enough to see the forest for the trees, you know? It happens. As long as you're aware of it, take a step back from time to time. Yep. So, were you staying up because of the new podcast you posted? Oh, yes! Have you watched it? What podcast? The link is on my tea chill pops. Okay, so he has no idea about a pop- oh, wait, no he does! That was a podcast? You've already seen it too? Oh man, I'm stoked. I thought it was like a ghost hunt or something. Of how dark everything was, lighting wise. So it was too dark, huh? I'll keep that in mind. I admit, what you call the ghost hunting segment was shot kind of spontaneously. But what do you think about the whole thing, Pops? You too, Leah. Tell me. 
Oh, I saw the post, but I haven't had the time to watch it yet. I'm sorry. Oh, well, don't be sorry. But go watch it when you have time, okay? Oh, will do. Well, since I thought it was a ghost hunt, I didn't, you know. I didn't watch it all the way to the end. Uh, okay, that, that's fair. Understandable. My daughter enjoyed watching the whole thing, though. Ah, that's so great to know. She told me Rachel was there, too. What gives? Rachel? Yeah, she was our first guest. Oh, so... Did you film the episode right after the th you three talked about it the other day? Exactly. That's why it was spontaneously done. But the whole thing was not about ghost hunting pops. That was just a clickbait. The actual story is... I know, my daughter summarized it for me. You brought up the street. And the tree too, didn't you? Exactly. Because it was part of our plan, right? Hmm? Welcome, Miss Riona. Hello. Lady, finally you're here. Is that how you greet your co-host now? Good evening, miss. Hi, everyone. Was the traffic bad for you? No, not at all. I had to deliver something before I came. That's why I'm a bit late. I apologize. Nah, you're not late. I'm just early. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, please. I'd like a cup of mild coffee. We tend up a lot of honey, if you would. Okay, so I'm discussing... Coffee of two honeys. That's what I used to order back in the day. Really? So, what's really been happening if you two? This kid stayed up for days or for something, apparently. Does that include you as well? Mm, yes, but those are just my regular working hours. B, C, and... I thought we were done talking about that, Pops. What the heck? I'm not done playing the role of annoying a nosy old guy, that's all. He's still role-playing. Let him lurk. Jeez. Oh, by the way. Thank you for telling me about the pie shop, miss. Somehow, I didn't know it existed. Are you talking about disco pie? Yep, that place, is, that place closes up at midnight. It is Riona. She is pretty. Very pretty. Follows the schedule of the pub adjacent to it. Now my daughter can get pie even when I'm homely. I see. That's good. I swear I'm not trying to point your regulars in the point or direction of your rival, Leah. It's fine, it's fine. It's not like I sell pie anyway. What rival? Maybe I should start selling food. Selling food here. Hmm. Did I miss something? I'm wondering too. As you probably know, especially if you follow my tea chill, we started a vlog slash podcast thing. Right. My daughter watched the first episode yesterday. Did she like it? She loved it. I heard her laughing all the way. I'm glad. So, what is this vlog slash podcast thing, really? Yeah, please, clarify. I saw you had this walk-around session in the episode. I thought podcasts are supposed to be voice only, like a radio show, but you don't need to catch it live. Well, nowadays there are a lot of podcasts and videos. Voice is still the most important part though, and we did have a carpool podcast later in the episode. So usually there will be two episodes, or sorry, two versions of the same episode. The voice only one on audio streaming platforms. I just need to drink something. <laughs> and a full video posted on video streaming platforms. Ah, I see. Sounds difficult to create both at the same time. It must require a lot of planning, doesn't it? It does. 
if you're not THE Lucas, that is. Thanks to my editing and interviewing skills, you can enjoy the action session in the voice-only version all the same. I see. It wouldn't be possible to make the episode as compelling, though. About Lady Riona giving us good information to make the episode work. Somehow, her voice really resonates well on the mic. So, it was a joy to edit it into the narration. Haha. <laughs> also, Rachel was probably the first best first guest we could have gotten. We even got a sneak preview of our new singles. Our first episode got tons of views because of that. Really? That's great! I wonder if that was cleared by her manager. Probably not. But she knows what she's doing, I'm sure. I can see why you two stayed up for days now. <laughs> Sounds great, y'all. So, miss? Yes? Are you enjoying your new role as a show co-host? Well, it's interesting so far, and I'm learning a lot of new skills, so I'm eager to keep working on it. All the while, I keep looking for additions and honing my craft. Yay! That's all I needed to know. So, what else is in the episode? But watch it! Just kidding, it's okay. You can watch it whenever. I will, later after work. Oh, Mr. Lucas, you said this is part of your plan. And, officer, you said all you players need to be here to form a complete story. What's up all that? Pops, if you please. Alright, alright, I'll start. Leah, do you remember what we talked about a couple days ago? Which part? I asked you. And Gal, what you preferred? Wild rumors or bad press? Though you didn't answer. Ah, yes, I remember now. You said something about combining them, I think. Yep, and that's where I and Lady Riona came in. Oh? Ops was telling me about his meetup with the grieving vandals. So, I know the whole story, and I get what they were going for. It's not that they wanted their friend to be remembered in a bad way. Yeah, they just want them to be remembered, period. So, from talking to Pops, I had an idea. An idea to turn their actions into a neighborhood legend. Urban legend. With their... And the victim's family's permission, of course. The victim's family. When the officer asked me if I knew them, I was able to track them down. You did? That's great! How? Um... We operate on a similar wavelength, which is the easiest way to explain it. It took a while, but I managed to reach them. I see. That makes sense. So, you're trying to turn their act of vandalism into urban legend? Exactly right! Urban legend usually starts with hearsay. Created from half truths, half exaggeration from each speaker to the next listener. In like a game of tag. Sometimes they can even all be lies. But most of them often serve as a cautionary tale. Yep. But the real. The best thing about this one is it's all real. It really didn't take much for me to tweak it into a whole new story. Why did it need tweaking? To make it less clear, of course. Because you want everyone to get curious. If you explain everything all at once, there's no mystery for others to dig into. Once they're hooked on their premise, folks will try finding things out on their own. And in this case, because a tree already has a, an actual long history, those who dig more inspiration will surely fall down the rabbit hole. Other content creators who are into this stuff will laugh it up. And they tend to be big. Then the rest is history. Their friend's memory will have a life of its own. Oh, that's nice. I see what they're trying to get at. Ah, I see what you mean. Did you have a story in yesterday's episode? Part of it. We're planning to discuss it further in a couple episodes. Because... You need to give the impression time to propagate, you know? Honestly, it was probably good enough, because my daughter couldn't stop asking me more, more about it. She knows the story was based on my case, and she's been telling her friends at school about the video. About letting them know it was my case, of course. That would be bad. That one's very promising, though. You're telling me! That's great! Send our thanks to your daughter, Pops. Eh. What? 
This is all very different, but a somewhat exciting experience. How do you know if this will all work out as intended? We don't! It's not that easy to influence that many heads, you know? Huh? But you're so confident. Because... We'll never know the outcome of anything unless we try. That's true. Well, congratulations on taking a step into a new direction, kiddos. Who knows, maybe someday soon I'll join in on that. You want to become an influencer too, Pops? Oh, that would be funny. Huh, could you imagine? Nah, I meant taking a step into a new direction. How about Georgie Williams, private investigator sounds? Wow, really? For real? Nah, I'm kidding. Or am I? Who really knows at this point? I mean, I think it fits you well. Thanks for the vote of confidence, miss. I might have to leave soon. Huh? Why? I haven't eaten anything substantial since this morning. It was a really busy day. Oh, word? Let's go then. Ah, you can stay. I'll just go for a quick bite and come back. Nah, let's just go. We're partners, right? Besides, we still have a lot of things to discuss. Wink. Ah, you're right. A very interesting, like, partnership they've created that I also could not really have uh, predicted. Alright, if you're fine with it. I think it's time for us to go. And I mean, for me. Roger that! Let's get going then! See you later, Pops! Good luck with everything! You too, you too. Bye, Leah! See you again soon. Goodbye! So... Just you and me now. Nothing wrong with that. I have to go soon though. Duty calls. Sure. <gasps> oh my god! I was like, there's no way they're gonna bring Freya back for this game. Oh my god, Freya real, Freya real, Freya real! Oh my god, I was thinking about this earlier, I was like, I wish Freya would come back at the end. But I was like, they're not gonna do that, are they? So I didn't say anything. <gasps> but she's here! Oh my god, she's gonna be walking in, oh my god! So I'm just really excited, I love Freya. Oh my god, she's real! Real! <laughs> okay, okay. Hello, Leah. How are you? Freya! I was not just screaming about you. Hey, Miss Green here. Hey, officer. No, a long time no see. I heard you've been going around the world, huh? Around the world is a bit much, but I've been somewhere. I'm glad to see you here, Freya. I mean, uh, you're not dead. <laughs> well, as much as I'd like to stay and chat, duty calls. Aw, that sucks. I miss you. Well, see you later then, Georgie. Yeah. Don't forget to tell Leah the truth, okay? <gasps> later, Leah. What do you mean by truth? I will. Let me move over there. What truth? Oh my god! So, my buddy, my pal, my good friend, Leah, what's up? Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Before you start blaming me, it was a last-minute thing. Even I didn't know I'd be back so soon. So, what makes you return sooner than expected? Well, maybe I'll tell you after a drink. Hey. Do you remember my very first drink or order ever? Espresso? Yeah, you have good memory. I, you didn't, I didn't even need to tell myself that. I remember that. The first time I was here, I was raining as hard as it is now. I thought nothing was open anymore until I saw your shop. Your espresso was one of the best coffees I've ever had. Thank you. One espresso for me, please. Freya, real. Here you go, Freya. A cup of triple shot espresso for you. Great! <laughs> Again, this 
deep aroma and such stellar flavors. Thanks. So, mind telling me why Officer Georgie said what he said? Which part? Oh, I didn't get Hyde's best ending because I wasn't his best friend. Aw, oh, man. I wonder what I did wrong. Aw, cute. Mess up with hide. I thought I got it all right. Oh well. I think it's the best ending, everyone. I'm a fraud. All right. Which part? Something about telling me the truth. Ah. Well, about that. Okay. I'm leaving for a writer's residence soon, and it's really, really far away. Oh. No! What? I know, I know. It was impulsive. It was something I did on a whim. I know. Me and my old buddy, buddy, sent the application form like last month, not really expecting anything. But we got accepted, and sometimes, or somehow, it's for this year's rotation. Yes, Freya is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Which means I need to pack and get ready really soon. It's not a scam, is it? Of course not! How long is it going to be? I don't know. Probably a few months? But I might try to keep traveling after that. Okay. You're breaking my heart, Freya! Leah? Are you sad? Girl! What makes you think that? Why do you think I'm sad? <laughs> Why do you think I'm sad? <laughs> no. I'm not sad, Baka! Don't be sad while I'm gone, okay? I said I'm not sad! Aww. Anyway, tell me what's been happening all this time. Since uh, I've been gone. There should be a lot of juicy stories waiting for me, right? Oops, I skipped over it. Oh, you have no idea. Fill it! Everything! Alright. So it started around two weeks ago. Aqua's working on her game while Myrtle helps from time to time. <gasps> Cute! They're a good team. Silver and Amanda's trip took them quite a bit further than they expected. Where are they going? And a pe Pearl appears in a number of their selfies from London, Sydney, and the Mongolian something space? Hi's reputation as a dreamy, sensitive wedding photographer spread all around Seattle. And Gala is fond of qualifying him in those exact for terms to Hyde's obvious displeasure. And Roy. Oh my gosh, I can't read fast enough. Blue and Bailey's bought a little house with large windows, a small garden, and an extra bedroom. Bailey's has been using it as a workspace, but it stands ready to fulfill a whole other function when it, the time is right. Then Nekochel X Army. Collaboration was a success as a new single was released on time. Even though the reviews are mixed, her true fans love it, and uh, that's all that matters, she said. In spite of its impromptu nature, their first broadcast was a success. Uh, success. It had great views! Uh, they did, they, they, the, his team joined them, and then they did a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Word of mouth spread the story of accident resulting in a combination of history and urban legend. The petition was created to memorialize the site, which was successfully included in the area renewal program. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, <laughs> just me like mumbling very fast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright everyone, we did it! We beat the game! Um... I... You didn't see it, but like, the Steam showed me the achievements. And I only got like... Hyde's good ending, I got... Gala's good ending, and I got... 
Bailey's and Lua's good ending. And the only one that said I had the best ending was for Georgie. Uh, Georgie, Lucas, and Riona. So I didn't get the best best ending, but I got I got a pretty good ending. I don't know where I messed up. Also, like, for realistic knocking. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we did it though. I was trying to finish up before this time, before I only stream. So, yes, I did it. <laughs> I like the game. I don't know. I think some of the topics that this game covered were good. Yeah, that's fine. That's a, I, it's fine to be a couple minutes late. I'll be there. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like the first game I liked more. I don't know. I just felt more cohesive, I guess. Uh, I like that they tried to add the new mechanic of like giving people stuff with their orders. Oh, Yeah. I get it. Oh. <sighs> That's frustrating. I'm sorry, Ioni. Oh, they said thank you to me. Thank you. But yeah, I like the game. Um... I don't know. I don't know, they're gonna give me something. This could be like, oh, you missed this. Now I have to play the game again. For some extra bonus content. Alright. Hmm. Oh, Riona. Hello again. Hello. I dropped something here a long time ago, so... I'm here to get it. Oh? What item was it? It's fine. I've got it. It was right under the seat. Really? Huh. I always made sure to check everything before closing, too. There are times when we simply miss things. Particularly... If it is a task that we have performed numerous times, that's true. What does it mean? Huh? What? I guess it's a sign for me to double check everything? It may or it may not be. I have a feeling you will find something of interest either way. There is even the possibility of gaining a complete understanding of everything. Or everyone. Pardon? I didn't quite catch that. Riona, what do you know? Hello? Have a good evening, Leah. Uh, okay, have a safe trip, Miss Riona. Ah, I knew they would do this. The first game did this to me, too. No! Yeah, they broke the fourth wall. Riona being possessed by God. Oh well, looks like no one else will be coming tonight. Might as well go check on. What was that? That sounded like it came from inside the drawer. I'm scared. What the? The missing items, they're here. But they vanished a while ago. Now what is really going on? What? Man! Alright, everyone. <sighs> I'll, I'll figure out if I want to do that on stream, but that'll be a separate stream where I play the game again. And maybe that's why I didn't get the best ending for Hyde and all the rest. Because I didn't have the items. Ah! Man! Oh, Yana! I don't want to do it. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I love the game. But I, I feel like this one... I Like, I feel like the, the reward for doing this time won't be as satisfying as the first game. But we'll, we'll see. Alright. Ah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Thank you for being with me for this extremely long stream. <laughs> I don't know 
if I've done a four hour stream before. <laughs> no, you don't want to leave. <laughs> Lindo, you have to leave. I'm sorry. The cafe is closing soon. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I have to play the game one more time. Oh, thank you for the head pat. I appreciate it. Ah, but yeah, we did it though. We knocked out four days and four hours. <laughs> I know the cafe is quite comfy, but yeah, ah, we did it. We did it. We we beat the game. Ah. Well, they probably, I think if we did the replay, oh my gosh, my eye. If we did the replay, it would take about an hour, so it'd be like a short stream. <sighs> Man, yeah. I, I am interested in what we like, well, unlock or discover. You're gonna go live in the closet? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Linda, hi! I hope you had a good time lurking. Let's see. If I keep you all here captive long enough, I can send you over to Ioni. <laughs> Ioni is going to be streaming the Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge. Lina! You're not going anywhere. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Oh, that's what I got. I got distracted. Yeah, they're gonna be playing a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke challenge, and that'll be exciting. I'm excited for it. I hope they name a Pokemon after me, and I lead the whole team to victory, and I never die, and I'm like the one. Hit KL Wonder or whatever, the, like the secret weapon. That's what I want to be. That's just, this is like my fanfic. They're gonna be called Leah. They're gonna be super amazing. Have perfect IVs. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Lindo. Thank you for being here today and yesterday. I really appreciate it. It was fun hanging out with you too. I appreciate it. Wait, I said that already. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> my brain kind of be, uh, not working. <laughs> like, yeah, you could hear me tripping over my words more than usual when I was reading the, in the stream today. Ah, I was like, oh, I need to drink more water. But I was like, oh, I can drink all the water I want. I'm just talking so much. Aw, I appreciate it. That means a lot. Thank you. And we always love having you here. I might be doing a unscheduled ska stream tomorrow. <laughs> I might be doing an unscheduled stream tomorrow. I might be playing Animal Crossing. I recently got a cheap, this is like big emphasis, big cheap, big emphasis on cheap capture card uh, for that. I wanted to like stream Switch games. Um, the quality is okay, but I haven't actually tried streaming with it live. So I want to do like this maybe short stream. I show off my Animal Crossing Island and we'll see how things go from there. Like audio, um, frame rate, stuff like that. Like, oh, audio delay too. That's also a thing. So yeah, I will definitely tweet it out. I will definitely also keep saying tweet because I'm I don't refuse to acknowledge the changes to Twitter. <laughs> I will I will be clutching tweet and retweet in, until I die. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's see. It looks like Ioni is not ready yet. Oh, Ioni. 
I know they said they'd be a bit late though, so I understand. Do I have anything else to say? Oh, I should I guess I can say <laughs> window getting ready to stay in the cafe after hours. I have some new things that I'm going to get ready for the full body debut in August. So I'm really excited to show you what I have cooked up. Um, I'm not getting new overlays. <laughs> You'll be the guard dog? Thank you. We need that. We need security. Because uh, I already have... Obviously, I have the new overlays by Small sh Sushi now. Um, but... I do have some other things I'll be bringing in, and I'm excited. I have it. I, I've commissioned it. They're working on it now. So yeah. Oh my gosh. It'll be like my full debut. I feel like I had half a debut, and then this is the rest of my debut. <laughs> and I'll be super excited that I can switch between two models. Ah! I love my chibi model, though. Like... Uh, Eli and Hina, they did such a phenomenal job with them. And, or with me, I should say, not <laughs> with me, and I'm happy. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I've been streaming for a year, and I finally fulfilled my dream of becoming a VTuber. It was not... It was not, uh, cheap. <laughs> it was not cheap at all. It's fine. But I, I've been working on it little by little, so... Yeah. I think that's everything, though. I think I, I talked about the stream tomorrow, I talked about the debut... Um... Quack. Oh! Quack. Quack. And then, I'm gonna do a short stream to finish Coffee Talk if I feel like it. Um... Oh! I might play... The World Ends With You next. And that's something that Ioni wants. I need to finish that game. It was fun. Uh, but it's so hard for me to pick up games like that again. So I've been kind of avoiding it. Because <laughs> uh, the frame rate was so bad on my laptop. So I kind of basically dropped the game. And I was supposed to pick it up again when I got my computer. But... Yeah. We're waiting for you to go live, Ioni. So I can read you. I also was saying, I was telling chat that I might play The World Ends With You next, I'm not sure. Oh, you're fine. It's, a, it's something that's out of your control. Oh, I didn't say that! I was gonna play it. <laughs> I didn't say that, I said maybe. <laughs> Also, I think my camera placement was kind of weird to stream, so that's why I've been like half blinking. Maybe. I I'm kind of tempted to play Harvestella too. So we'll see. Should be ready in five. Should be ready in five. Yeah, but, you know, I like, I like, I want to farm. I want to farm. Is that so bad? I've been craving the farm, the farming, the, the non-binary urge to farm. <laughs> I was also actually like I was like if the switch stream goes well I am thinking about buying the story of seasons another wonderful life remake and and playing the <laughs> new stakes by farm now I don't want to actually farm I want to like farm and get married you know what I mean I want to I see cute 
couple like singles in my area and get married. Draw the mustache. What? Your uncle is a farmer. I remember this. I remember this in the Ioni lore. The lore is not that deep, just complicated. Isn't that any- we can say that about anyone's lore. You did nothing. Linda, I'm looking at you. Oh, that would be funny if there's a, a, a mustache asset. I don't think there is, though. No. Oh, well. Is there a clown nose asset? Oh my gosh, that's right, I remember playing with this last time. It does oh wait, there's a mustache. Oh, I just spelled mustache wrong. <laughs> what do you think I think? Should I grow facial hair? <laughs> oh no, my mustache. Thank you. Thank you for the boop. I really need to like buy or not buy, just find more assets so I can uh, like have like a drink tea redeem like Miski does or something. Oh my gosh, I could be like a baby. <laughs> it's all thick, rips off mustache. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're right. You're right, I am boss baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's like so many assets out there, man. I want to get a cozy one. I think the cozy ones are cute. I'm cozy. Blinky. Wait, this would have been good with the pacifier. We're bringing that back. Oh my god! It's so cute! Should I be bigger like this? Oh my god. Look at me, I'm an actual baby! This is so funny. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> you said boss baby? I'll show you boss baby. Boss baby. <laughs> I got double glasses. I can't take the glasses off. Oh wait, I think I can actually take the glasses off. I just have to learn how to... Uh make parts of a mesh invisible oh yeah they call me four eyes babu on vacation <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when we're waiting for Ioni. This is like when Ioni's not supervising me. This is what happens. <laughs> I could show my little steppies. I'm really just killing time here now. I, I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like you got, you got, you all know this, right? I'm just killing time till the only goes on stream. This <laughs> this happens no matter what. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> this does happen no matter what. I am just a little goofball. And I can do my steppies. I don't think you show this off enough. It's so cute though. Ah, Ina did such a good job. I'm so happy. Zooms in. <laughs> it really does. Oh! I, I just received word from uh, reputable resources that I only is finally alive. I don't have to keep stalling for time. All right, everyone. I'm sending y'all over. <laughs> I'm sending y'all over. <laughs> Thank you for uh, bearing with me, trying to stall for time. <laughs> it was a joy to have you all. Thank you for being with me for Coffee Talk again. And I look forward to seeing you next time, whether it be tomorrow or next week. Have a good night. Take care. And... See you later. I need to figure out an, an outro. But yeah, see you later. I love y'all. Yeah, take care of yourself. Thank you. And I press the button in three, two, one. Bye bye, everyone. Love you.